This show is part of the RetroZap.com podcast network. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash brews and blasters. There's over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Hey, it's Greg Grunberg, Snap Wexley from Star Wars. I didn't fly an X-Wing, I flew a double X. L wing and you are listening to Bruise and Busters. Blasters. Oh. And you are listening to Bruise and Blasters. Here we go. You're listening to Bruise and Blasters, RetroZap.com's free ranging discussion about all things Star Wars. How are we doing? Same as always. That bad, huh? With your hosts, Chris and Joe, two guys from Boston who are talking about this stuff anyway. Pokey religions and ancient weapons are no match for a good blaster at your side, kid. Let us go inside where we can discuss business over a drink. Anyway, this place can be a little rough. Not good. I don't like this. This is madness. Would you join me for a little refreshment? Everyone's invited, of course. I think you overestimate their chances. No, not really, no. I'm listening. You'll never find the more wretched hive of scum and villainy. We must be cautious. Hey! What's up, everyone? We're back. We're back after a long, long time, man. It's it's been it's been forever, but we are back. We are Brews and Blasters. My name is Joe. Joining me today, as always, Chris Salton. Hey, 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 hey. hey. We got Chris the Lime here. Hey, man, what's going on? Man? Get out of here, Chris. We got Jimmy the Whale. Ooh. 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 Coyote Money. And Oppo Ranch says, we're all here. We're all hanging out. We're here. We're actually here. It's a Star Wars party, Chris. And Joe, when does it begin? Right now. <laughs> you should see our faces. <laughs> My God. We're drinking limoncello. Yeah, it's great stuff. I don't even know if people know what limoncello is. It's delicious. If you're not Italian, you may not know what limoncello is. It's a crime <laughs> if you don't know what it is. You're committing a crime if you if you haven't tasted limoncello. It's delicious. It's lemon liqueur. Yeah, we are, Sonio di Sorrento. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the brand. Uh. Yeah. Think. Cheers. Delightful. It's so good. Forget about it. It real. It really is amazing. Bought it for my father-in-law, but he couldn't drink it. No. Nah, I wasn't able to drink it. It's all right though. Did you know about it? Were you like, oh, I'll just take it back. Well, yeah, yeah. I was like, ah. Oh. You know, he's like, why, why don't you take it back? You know? Yeah, I'm not returning this. I've never returned a bottle of limoncello. No, you, you, you can't. No, it's, it's, too, it's too good. Yeah. Usually we pour it into like little glasses, you know, like at, at Christmas or something. You know, for dessert. Yeah. You know? It, it's nice when you know a guy, too, that makes this stuff in his house. Oh, yeah. I That's got a, the I get, good stuff. I got a guy. You got a guy? Yeah, yeah. They, My well, mom's got a guy, too. It might be the same guy. It probably is, you know, Revere Strong. Yeah. <laughs> my dad used to have a guy. He di- he passed away. Upon oh, not my dad, but the guy he knew passed away. The guy she knows makes uh, the limoncello in the one with it, it tastes like orange. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. You, you know, I'm I'm a lemon guy, so uh, yeah. The orange is good, but yeah, the orange is pretty good. Get, does he uh, he does the cold cuts too, right? No, no. Okay, my dad's guy. I don't have a cold cut guy. My dad's guy used to do the limoncello. He did he did uh, the grappa. He did he did cold cuts. He did prosciutto. He did uh, he he, he did it all. He got all in his house, all in his basement. He was old school, man. He came. He had grapes growing in his backyard. Oh, wow. dude, I would have loved to have wine. him on the show. Now, you couldn't get in. You had to know someone to get in. So someone would have to introduce you to him, and you'd have to become his friend. And then he'd take you down into the basement. Oh, and the basement's cool. like a wine cellar. Oh, absolutely, yeah. You know, like, this is down in Revere. Like, this yeah. is down, like, like out in back in McDonald's, like mm-hmm. that neighborhood, you know? Yeah. And uh, he took you down into, like, the basement. It's like a wine cellar down there. There's, like, a table set up. And he'd slice you off some of the some of the you know prosciutto, and you'd have a little little glass of wine with him. You talk with wow, him. yeah. That I bet you the stories were amazing. Yeah, and and you know he he'd just give it to you, but you had to know someone. You had to know somebody. You had to be introduced. It was a very formal thing. See, I did a job on Reservoir Ave. Yeah, yeah. And it was an old Italian guy. We went down to the basement. I was fixing something on his boiler. Yeah. And he had all these wooden. Um, like uh, barrels Yeah and, and I'm like Hey what's going on He's like Oh I make my own wine Yeah I'll yeah, give you yeah. a bottle And I was like This is gonna be amazing Was it good No <gasps> He probably that's gave terrible. me The old stuff Yeah he probably gave you The, the, the vinegar Yeah yeah. It, that's what it tasted like It probably turned to vinegar That's why I was so upset It is I was, hard to know It I, is hard to know If it turned to vinegar I or was not. so thrilled Did he Did he ever follow up With you like Hey well how was, how was the vine No 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 oh, well. I never went back <laughs> Well you don't have to Your job's too good Oh, thanks. You know, yeah. your job's good. No callback. Hey, I wish my electric was that good because, uh, you know, it's funny. It took a long time for the show to come out. This is coming out Thursday. Yeah. You know, on the eve of uh, Rogue Friday. Yes. 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 Ah. Ah, yes. It's going to be good. We're gonna, we have a lot in store for you for yeah, Rogue th- Friday. Th- this is a, a, a big one, guys. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But uh, I, I meant to have one out over the weekend. Okay. Meant to happen. I wasn't able to make Friday. It was a it was crazy crazy week. This was my craziest time of the year. You had a great weekend though. It was a good weekend. Went to New Hampshire. Good time. But I was like, all right, like it was the busiest time of the year for me. I'll put out a show on Sunday. At least I'll make Sunday. And I figured, uh, well, I'll do like uh, I'll do like a a movie commentary. Just me talking about movie. It'll be fun. Ah. You know, it's, <laughs> it's just some email. It'll be fun and light and breezy. Power goes out. Power goes out. It's weird. Mine didn't. Yeah, no, no. It was just over here. Like, car accident, you know? Oh, I was going to say, there wasn't a storm. Like, what do I do? I started I started digging into my, my closet. The bailer, as, as I was talking with Dengai Dan. Oh, nice. <laughs> you know, my half closet, the, the the water heater closet? Yeah. That's what I did the past time. I'm like, well, no podcast tonight. No no, no electricity. Well, hey, it looks great. Hey, I, I use the star stands. Yeah, those well, things are amazing. Well, it's amazing. We'll get into it in Needham Got Him. I got a whole, I got a whole thing going on here. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Chris, you were busy too. You, I mean, we were, we were busy. It was a crazy yeah. week. We, it's been almost two years of, of Bruising Blasters. Isn't you know that, that insane? Almost two years. When did we start? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. 1982, maybe, maybe. I don't know. If you told me that. Are you confirming? Because yes. I, I I believe it. That is official. Yeah, and that's about two years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basic math. 1982? <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure. But uh, yeah, no, I mean, we've missed very few shows. Yeah, no. Very, very few. Right. So, we missed one. Yeah. Oh, well. We're busy. We'll, we're, we'll get back to we you. We have stuff. We're back, and this is going to be a great show. Yeah. We have a lot of good stuff it's to talk about. It's action-packed. Rebels is back, man. It's back. Dude, how good was... was Steps into shadow. It was very nice, and I loved the uh, the hour special. Oh, so good! I wish it was always an hour. I really, I feel like they need it. They need it absolutely. They really do. Yeah, they really do. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's good stuff. Hey guys, if you're a new listener to Bruising Blasters, just want to say thank you. We don't do that often. Yeah, you know? thanks guys. Yeah, just want to say thank you or thank you. We don't do it enough, and uh, you know, there's a there's a lot of options out there, right? You know something? It, we're, we're flooded, actually. There's there's a lot of podcast options out there. Yeah, so we're so, on it. You know, you you choose to to hang out with us. We thank you. Yeah, yeah. It's, I don't really know where to go from there. I just I just wanted to kind of say that. Yeah, no, that was very nice of you. I'm gonna you have know? another sip of limoncello. That's yeah, what I'm sippy gonna do. Sip. Sippy sip. But um, 
Yeah, yeah. Thank, thanks for tuning in, guys. It's the, good time. The support is amazing. Chris, how was your weekend? Uh, it was eventful. Uh, yeah. Just very busy with work. Uh, Rebel started. That was great. I fell asleep three times. Good thing I recorded it. Um, it, not was, be, it, it not, was a little late. Yeah, it was a well, yeah. If you worked all day. Well, you know what does it for me? What? The commercials. They absolutely Ugh. kill me. You know? It is a little brutal. And because I'm all I'm all fired up. I'm f- I'm but, fired up. Like, no. Yeah. Yep. You're and ready. Right when the first commercial hits, I'm I, I do the whole like, I'm gonna close my eyes for a second. No, what am I doing? Yeah. And then next thing I know, it's like ten. And I'm like, what just happened? Now you know it's online, right? Yeah, but I DVR it, so yeah. I, I just went back and I, I fast forward right through the commercials. So I screwed up. I thought it was on at nine. I oh. didn't know it started at eight thirty. Oh, good. So you actually went right through the commercials then? No, what I did, <laughs> I, I just got hopped on my tablet. I'm like, well, I missed a half hour. Might as well just go on the tablet and watch it there. So we did that. No commercials. No commercials. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, it was pretty good. That's the way to good. do it. Knocked it on forty minutes. See, this used to happen to me. During the Clone Wars, when it was on at Fridays at like eight o'clock. No, they didn't have a day. Like it was on the app in the morning of Saturday. It was on already. Oh, like an early. uh, Oh, that's right. On the on the Disney XD app, don't they show it like a day before or early or whatever? They used to do that. Season one, they did that. Yeah. Or season, I don't know, season two, whatever. But right now, they're releasing a day of, so it's on there early in the morning. Okay. So that's cool. That is cool. Yeah. So I watch it. I watched it at 9 p.m. Saturday and uh, watched it on the app. Nice. It was good. It was good. Right. Yeah. So, g- great episode. We're going to talk about that. Right. We'll, we, we'll get to it. It was we'll, an amazing show. We'll get to it. Mm-hmm. Chris, I have, a, I have a question for you. Yeah. We started getting emails. All the same subject line. Hats on a droid. Oh, cool. Chris, did we say that? I don't even remember. We. I think we did. You know, droids. Can where? you confirm it? Droids wear hats. I think I think we said it like that. Dro- Did, what, what's yeah. the subject? Hat. The subject line <laughs> on literally one, two, three, four, five, six emails. We had six emails. We have more than that. People but- listen. Thank, <laughs> thank the maker. Uh, yeah, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Hey, to the six of you, thank you. Yeah, and you know what? Join the party. Yeah, bruise and blasters at retrozap.com. That's cool. But I don't remember telling people to email us subject line hats on a droid. Oh, no, I don't think we did. How do they do it? Six people. You know what I think's funny? That was like the last five minutes of the show where we're like, hey, we put a hat on a droid. Ah. Chris, I think we said it. I don't. Did we, we don't have... remember, guys. We press stop and that's it. We, yeah. we walk away. This is a true statement. We wash our hands. Yeah. We say good night. Yeah. We're like, hey, that was solid. Yeah, good so, show. Yeah, I gotta go. I'm wearing sandals. You go home. You you, you drive home. You have Taco Bell. I, I I cut back on that. Okay, good. Cut, cutting back on the LBs. Yeah, yeah, LBS. Yeah, yeah, I gotta do that. I'm doing that too. Well, the late night eating. I I can't. It's I, not good. You know something? On the way home, I pass. I, I I'm not even lying. Yeah, guys. I know At what least you pass. Four major fast food. And chains. they're all open. <laughs> they're all open. We're talking McDonald's. We're talking yeah. Taco Bell. I, have talking, to dri- I just drive really fast. We're talking Burger King. Hey, Laundy's might even be open. Well, and then you... Laundy's roast beef. So good. There's actually two McDonald's you drive by. Oh, man. Yep. Yeah. Rizzo's isn't open, though. Rizzo's is good. You mm-hmm. ever get the calzones? No, you. Know, I've been on this kick. I began um, Garlic Love is Pizza. Oh, man. Let me tell you something about Rizzo's calzones. Now you know Spinach. I'm not a vampire. I had my doubts, but you know, <laughs> now, now I'm good. You waylaid my fears. Spinach, feta, mozzarella, calzone from Rizzo's. It, yeah, that, that's that's money right there. It, you, it feels healthy, but it's not. That's like a Greek shaking an Italian's hand right there. Yeah, yeah. They're making a truce. Yeah. And it's in the form of food in your mouth. It's mm-hmm. fantastic. I love it. I love it too. I'm going to get one. Go get one right well, now. I, I, a calzone. A calzone. That's what we're talking about. Nice. Yeah. I haven't had a good calzone in a long time. Rizzo's makes good calzones. I yeah. I, the one over here does. I don't know. The well, one near you, I think it's the same. I, I They got it. They have to be the They're same. They're brothers, I think. Yeah, because the font is the same. Yeah. So that makes sense, right? You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, They man. must know each other. Yeah. It's been, a, it's been a week. All right. Let's get into some emails. We're going to do it right off the bat here. 
Because we got a lot to talk about. We got we got Rebels. We we have Rogue Friday to talk about. I like this. We're doing the last thing first. Yeah, first the last, last the first. Yeah. We yeah. don't know. We we didn't know their names. But yeah. <laughs> hey, but what I think's hilarious is those six emails. The subject is droids. It's all hats, hats on a droid. It's identical hats. We must have told people subject line hats on a this droid. This isn't the same person six times. No. Right? No, it's not. It's like hi. My name is... No, Chris, look. <laughs> look at this. Yeah, I'm seeing it. Wow. Hats on a droid. They all did it, like, perfectly. Joe, I'm, not... I'm starting to wonder if you said it. I think you might have said it. I don't know who said it. If you know who said it, let us know. Yeah. Solve this mystery for us. <laughs> let Bruise us know. Bruise and Blast at retrozap.com. We don't know. This show is for you, not for us. Yeah. We're here. We just want to hang out and drink with you guys. That's yeah, it. Yeah, we're just having a good time. Talk about Star Wars. Hey, and we're going to have a good time at Celebration doing that. Dude, this is going to be a good time. It's going to be a great time. Yeah. yeah. And we're not going to be talking about sweaters. We're going to be talking about the wars. The wars. Yeah. We may talk about sweaters. Who knows? I don't think it's going to get cold, cold enough. No. <laughs> I think I'm okay to get on a plane, too. Yeah, you'll be fine. All right, good. Okay. All right, what are we doing here? Sippy sip. Hats on a droid. I'm going to take a sippy sip. Sippy sip. Mm. I'm loving Tom Baker's voice. Yeah. That's the Bendu. The Bendu. I can't wait to get to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's get to some, uh, need some email reading music here. How's this? Sound good for you? Yeah. All right. I don't want to tell... I don't, I don't want to say the name of the person who wrote this email. Do we know? J we do. We do. It's a very recognizable name, but I don't want to say it just in case what I say. Like, I don't I don't want it to like get him in trouble or anything. All right. He writes, Serious question. So this week at work, I've been busy. Two of my cases at work brought up a question in mind. So as I think you all know, I work undercover catching shoplifters. Cool. I didn't know that either. That's a cool job. I just... I, I had that job once. I pictured Mac from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, that'd be awesome. He's, doing, a, he's an enforcer. Doing it more better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, what was his name? His, uh, his, his bodyguard name. Oh, I don't remember. Oh, I forget. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> um, all right. So Monday, I see a guy grab a case of super colds and walk out the door. There is a different store, different guy, and he grabs three six-inch Black Series figures and walks out the door. So my question, which is the worst person? The guy stealing beer or the action figures? May the bruise be with you. P.S. Yes, I caught both guys. P.S. P he, he said P.S.S., but I, mean, I think he means P.P.S. Action figure guy had two Zuvios and a fin. Wow. Yeah. He was like, you know, some I've been seeing these on the on the pegs for a while. This guy just wanted to steal. I yeah, guess. I'm, I'm going to take him. Yeah. So who do you think would be worse? The bear or the action figure guy? Yeah. You're more of a degenerate if you're stealing the bear. But I think you're just kind of a worse person overall if you're stealing two Zuvios and a fin. Yeah, I'm like going with the week, action figures too. Yeah, yeah. I do think you're more of a degen if you're stealing the bear. Yeah, like you might have a problem. With the alcohol, yeah, we you, you probably need to like see like some professional help. Yeah, if you're stealing beer, yeah, I mean they're action figures. Let's buy them. <laughs> but <laughs> why? Why are you stealing two Zuvios? What are you doing? Yeah, I think I would rather get caught stealing beer than the action figures. You couldn't throw two Zuvios at me and I would catch it. I would catch one. Why? And then the other one just like hit me in my chest. Yo, and I why? Would be like, why would I need? I two? would dodge it. Why would you catch one? I never got one. You never got a Zuvio? Nope. I got uh, I never got the Black Series one. Chris never got the Black Series Zuvio. I know some of you want to get that off your hands. I know it for a fact. Let us know. It Bru was just one of those things. You Bruise know? and Blast at RetroZap.com. You want to get rid of your Zuvio? Chris needs one. Hey, 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 hey. I'm surprised you never had that. Yeah, it, it was one of those things. That it just kind of, everything was moving really fast and it passed me by. Honestly, 
a good figure. It is a great figure. I remember when you got it and I was really looking at it. And I was like, wow, this is great. The, yeah. the, the head sculpt is great. And we were like, he's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, this guy. I, I can't. He really, like, we played that out. Yeah. Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> like, we played that out. Like, Zuvio is going to be the best. Mm -hmm. He's going to lay down the law on, on, on Jack Coop. Well, that's what his description was. Yeah. And then he was nothing. Right. Well, you saw him real quick in the back. It was yeah. like a, a second, a yeah. half of a second, maybe. It was all in the mind of Pablo Hidalgo, who made it up. Yeah. He's like, yeah, we made up this character. Whatever. He was a cool looking character. <laughs> he was a blur. Mm. Yeah, he was a cool looking character. There were three of them. He looked menacing. Yeah, there were three of them. There they was took, three. They took... How did this happen? He didn't exist in the movie. One of them had like really cool like sunglasses. JJ didn't even know they were like people. And next thing you know, <laughs> you have like you have promotional stills in Entertainment Weekly. You have two, not one but two action figures. Like this this guy had like a whole backstory, and he was nothing. He Imagine was a that. blur. There was three guys dressed up like these characters. Talk right? about miscommunication, huh? Figures. Empire Magazine, Boom Schnickens, Boom Schnickens, <laughs> Zuvio came, and you know what? He wasn't even, like, it's not like he was cut out of the movie. We all thought he was cut out. Mm. Like, oh, I can't wait to see those scenes with Zuvio. No, 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 he never was. How would he you He was feel? a blur. If I created a character, no, if knowing that he wasn't guy, in the movie. If you were the guy that was playing that character. I would know that I didn't do anything in The Force Awakens. Yeah, but you still got a figure that's huge. I'll be huge. like, I don't des I'm not going to say he didn't deserve it. He did. Des he's cool. You know? But it's like, I know what I did in that movie. Yeah, I mean, it would have been cool if they knew he was going to be in the movie. So they were like, we're just going to make Grungar instead. Let's talk. I want to talk to the guy who played Zuvio in that movie. Yeah. Let's talk. To, we Who gotta is find, he? We got to find out who's in the suit. Who's in the suit? Oh, what about like that big alien guy with like robotic arms that was just dragon stuff? No, that guy's cool. You know who played him? Who? The guy that plays Predator. Oh, <gasps> I think right. his name's like Ian White or something. You're right. Is yeah, that yeah. his name? Ian yeah. White? Yeah. I, I just, I recently just found that out and it kind of blew my mind. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Now we have to talk to him about this. <laughs> we need to talk. Yeah. Last time I was just asking him a bunch of predator questions. It's amazing he still the the, the shoplift is still a fin too. Yeah. Like fin. I have like twenty fins. Yeah. I literally have a fin there I can't give away. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. I want to give away a lot of stuff tonight. I really do. All right. Christmas is coming early. No, oh, this is a good Christmas episode. I'll tell you that much. All right. <laughs> hats in the hats on a droid. Oh Jonathan, yeah. Jonathan Winchester says. Love the podcast, guys. I don't have any real Star Wars friends, so Bruising Blast is a nice way to feel, not feel completely alone when it comes to my fandom. Thanks for that. Well, thank you. I know y'all put in a ton of hours, and I really appreciate what y'all do. Also, I feel very left out. Oh, oh, there's a copy. All right, copyrighted question. All right, <laughs> I believe you said you were you were a copywriter. Okay, oh, I'll, I'll get you. I'll get I'll, I'll get you at that, Jonathan. I'll I'll, I'll answer that offline. Little little uh little writing question there. My my boring job as a writer. <laughs> oh, writing. <laughs> yes. Um. <Yeah>. Awesome. <laughs> oh, <geez. Yes. laughs> job. <laughs> All right. Hats on a droid. Hats on a droid. Kendall Schroeder writes. Hey guys. Your outro gave me enough time to have another sandwich. I'm hanging on to the end. Keep on bringing the great shows until Oppo returns. Kendall Schroeder, Oppo Award winner, Renegade. Two sandwiches. Nice distance. This is coming back to me. This is coming back to me. We asked people who listened to the end of the show to email us. Oh, this is when we had three ends of a show, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We just had stuff Literally to say. Literally the last episode. And we actually said, like, if you're sticking around to the end of this, yeah. email us hats on a droid. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, this is coming back to me now. Kendall, Kendall Schroeder brought it back to me. He's a good dude. 
Yeah, totally. Dude, man. Dude, I'm, I'm just happy he ate two sandwiches. That was he cool. He signed a Kendall Schroeder Oppo Award winner, Renegade. That's a major award. That's a, It's a major award. We're not just saying that. Hey, we haven't given out an Oppo Award in a long time. Yeah. We need the iTunes reviews. I, 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 mate. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> We're going to see Oppo yeah. again. If, I'm telling you guys, hey, it's going to happen. And guess what? It's on. We are the ones that continually talked about him. Yeah. He didn't even believe people loved him. <laughs> oh, we made he him feel no the clue. Love. We really did. He really thought we were putting him on. He came across the pond to yeah. say hi. You know what? He really thought we were putting him on at first. He's like, come on. No, guys. I don't think so. No, nah, he was like, you guys really like Oppo? Come on. Why do you like Oppo? We're like, dude. We we commissioned artwork. We love this guy. We brought him gifts. We're not we're not joking around. Yeah, we like yeah, we brought him gifts and then we're talking to him for a really long time. He was so cool. Yeah, and then he was also in the fifth element and Alexa loves that. Yeah, he was and, a Vogon. Yeah, you know, like that big duck robot things. He was Masamita, dude. He what dude, he played a, he played like six characters. Yeah. Who was the um the uh Nuke Gunray's like right hand man? What was that guy's name? Um Nunray? Yeah, I don't <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Another guy that looks like you. I, I forget. Lot Dodd. No, I don't think it was that. It was like uh it starts with an H, I think. I don't know. Uh, Henry? We didn't know their names. Henry? I don't know. Yeah. His name was Hank. What are we saying? Hank what, what are Trade we... Federation guy. <laughs> but no, he was a cool hey, guy. Of the Trade Federation. Him. That podcast is really like their next level right now. Oh yeah. The Trade Federation is doing fantastic. Bill. Bill Bill, the trees? The Bill. The two trees? The the two Bills. Hey. Bill and Joe on the Trade Federation. You guys gotta check that show out. Yeah, kill a job. They yeah, rock. They're, they're coming up. It, it like they've been laying it down. They were the first like renters that podcast beyond Bruise and Blasters. They were the second one. They 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 began the network, so True to speak. True dad. True dad. Yeah. They've been around for a long time. Well, they now. were the first podcast with tops trading cards. They were. And now they've like expanded. Yes. They're doing all collecting. They're doing everything. It, it I'm I'm really loving it. That like it's a whole a whole new thing there. They're expanding their universe. It's awesome. Boom. Boom. New 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 intro song too. Yeah, that great. sounds great. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What do we, what do we, I don't even know how we got onto this. Oh yeah, we were talking about uh, Oppo. Oh yeah, Oppo. Yeah, yeah we're yeah. gonna see him again. Yeah. Oh, Jerome Blake is a great guy. He is. He is. He played tons of uh, characters, mm -hmm. bits in residual Resi bits and residually bits. Residually bits. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He played residually bits. Yeah, I'll have to f uh, figure out that guy's name, but uh, I have his action figure. Yeah. It was Lot Dodd, I think. No, it, it's not. I'm telling. It's like an H or something. Is it the one that said "stunted slime"? Get the stunted slime out of my sight. No, no, he was like New Gunray's. He looked like New Gunray, but he was yeah. just with him. Lot Dodd. That's him. No. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. We didn't know their names. Devin Myers writes in. Snicker snort. <laughs> yeah. That's all she wrote. She just she just laughed. That was it. Yeah. Hey. No. Yeah. Hats on, hats on a droid. Boom. I like it. I like it. That's short. All, you and know what's sweet. great? She's awesome. That's all she needs to do. Yeah. Just you know, dropping in. This is what we like, guys. All star Franklin Taylor writes in. That's what I'm gonna call him for now because this this kid is an all star. Franklin Taylor. All star Franklin Taylor writes in. Keep up the great work. Is it official to tight like that by Clutch? Is the official Coyote Monday theme song? Cheers. Franklin Taylor. Spear 21. I did Roman numerals. Chris, you, do you ever, you're tight like that by Clutch? Yeah, when you uh, play it. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's a great song. And I'm going to say it is the official uh, the official Coyote Monday theme song. Let's, uh, let's play it. Let's play it. It is Coyote Monday right now. It is. It is. We're, we're doing an off day here. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> we're recording on Coyote Monday. It's weird. It We've never weird. done this before. Never. Never. Monday madness. It is. It's weird. Yeah. Oh, that ain't it. This is the beginning of Starship Savers and Scoundrels. <laughs> it is. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. You're listening to... My name is... My name is Dennis. Here is Doth Taxes. 
Oh, we love those guys. Um, no, this is tight like that. And you know what? Get in the groove. Kai, Addy, Monday, boom. I woke up this morning. Yeah. This is this is this is the Kai Money song. Yeah. You're grooving. Cause lights and sandwiches. Of my groove. This yeah, this song's awesome. I, I definitely agree. Franklin Taylor, you, you picked out a good song for Coyote Monday. Yeah. Cause honey, it's tight like that. Good God. Sippy sip. All right. Well, let's do, uh, let's do some more email. We have more. We have more. People listen. They listen to the end. I like it. All right. Jonathan Sims writes, Fellas, my girlfriend and I are on a journey to visit all 88 state parks in Missouri in one year. And we have made your show our default audio on the long drives. Nice. We both love beer, Star Wars, sandwiches, and kayaking. Thank you for all you do. You guys are genius, genius, genius. Did he really write that? Yeah. <laughs> He's amazing. This guy's the greatest guy ever. Kayaking is tight. It is. It's tight like that, man. Yeah. yeah. It's it's fantastic, man. Like, this wow, kid's that's, awesome. That's very flattering. And your girlfriend. Yeah. You and, well, we want to hear about your journey. Yeah. We want to know about all those pocs that you visit. Yeah. This is why we need to get patches. We need to send one out to those kids. Yeah. We need to send you. We want to see pictures of you listening to Bruising Blasters at all these state parks. You fire me up. Do you guys want patches? Let us know. Yeah, we want. We, we got to make them for us. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't be talking. It first. takes about a month. <laughs> to Jesus. <make. laughs> Things that should not be said. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, what are you drinking for beer? You both love beer. What do you like for beer? Oh, this is a good question. Yeah. What do you guys yeah. drink? We're talking to Jonathan directly right now. Yeah. <laughs> what, what kind of sandwiches do you like? Yeah. We want to know about your sandwiches. What, what kind of sandwiches do you have down in Missouri? Yeah. We don't even know. Hey. I'm in Missouri. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. We only know about sandwiches up here. Yeah. Yeah, we don't get sandwiches anywhere else. All right. Our last uh, our last email comes from Darth Taxus. Oh, yes. Yes. The Darth Lord Boom. of the Taxus. Just testing. Sent for my iPhone. You know something? That's what? good stuff. You know it is. Hello, this is Paul Blake, Greedo from Star Wars A New Hope, and you're listening to Brews and Blasters. Hey. Hey. I uh, I watched uh, L Street 76. I don't even know what that is. It's on Netflix as a documentary. Oh, okay. It features Paul Blake. No. Yeah, it features all the guys you don't really know about a lot. Like they were in the background, you know? Uh, for Star Wars? For the original Star Wars. Get yeah. out of here. Yeah. Get, stop. L Street, E L S T R E E. It's a studio they made it at. L Street, I think it's 1976. Wait, where did you see this? It's on Netflix. It's Joe, a fan, you, it, you it, text me a lot of things. Yeah. But you didn't text me this. I'm sorry, dude. It's a great, it's a great documentary. I have to watch this, man. L Street, 1976. Or but, it might be 76 it, or 1976. It, I don't it's know. It's strictly Star Wars. It's all about the guys who are in the background of A New Hope. So cool. We feed Paul Blake. He's on there. Yeah. Remember the guy, the stormtrooper who hit his head? Remember he sent in that song to us? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. played the world premiere of it. Yeah. We, before anyone else. Remember him? He's on it. He's on it. He's on it. There's a couple other guys, too. Angus McInnes. He played uh, He played one of the, one of the fighter pilots. It's Weas we Lee are in there? Weas Lee is not in there, but it would have been... Too popular. But it would have been... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would have been that caliber of, like, of actor. Oh, okay. You know? It's pretty cool. Hey, you know what else is pretty cool? 
What? After drinking limoncello, right? Yeah. If you drink a Coors Light after that, it, it brings a different taste, and it's quite delightful. Really? Yeah. I can't wait to get there. Uh, you know, it's all uphill from here. It really is. Yeah. Limoncello at a super cold? It is all There's uphill. There's no limits. There really isn't. There's nothing stopping us. There's no rules here. No, none at all. I'll tell you that much. AudibleTrial.com slash Brews and Blasters. Hello, this is Mess Mickelson from Star Wars Rogue One, and you are listening to Brews and Blasters. Thank you very much. Yeah. I think we should do a many face. Wow. Wow. Many faces of bruise and blasts t-shirt like many faces like the he-man guy no like uh multi faces on a t-shirt like, okay like you know like eight rows of like by five or six faces on each row who, who would the faces be just like the faces we make during the show oh yeah like yeah yeah like you guys don't see it but you could Are you hiccuping i think so i think that's happening yeah hey i'm not stopping i'm not editing it out yeah i don't want you to no i want people to know that we we're not lying Wait, that's, that's Everything sure. is true. It's true. All of it. <laughs> all right. Joe, are you ready for this? I'm not ready yet. Should we do it together? But I'm not ready yet. We're going on this journey together. All right, let's do it. Hold on. Nah. I'll walk down this path with you. One, two, three. Yeah! Bingo, bango. Bingo, bingo, bongo. Hmm. Wow, you're right. That's right. I think There's like we, a lemony thing going on there. Yeah, we invented something tonight. Chris. We're on to something. Super cold and lemon, kid. This works. Hey, do they, do, do they make those... Uh, Remember those summertime cause light things? No. What? Remember? You don't remember? Oh wait, that? yeah, I do. I didn't drink them. Did they come out this summer? No. Oh, Chris, there's something going on with the lemon cello cause light combo. Yeah. There's like a cause light shandy we have going on. Yeah, something's happening. There's, there's some weird things happening. We yeah. might have to do like a quarter lemon cello rest is, cause light. Is this like the Bruise and Blasters drink now? <gasps> Did we just invent our own drink? I hope so. It's a shot of limoncello and then drink a Coors Light. Yeah. That's it. It's classy. It is classy. That's it. <laughs> you will try. <laughs> you will try. <laughs> it's true. You know what it is? You know what this drink might be called? Awesome. The Bendu. The Bendu. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's in the middle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Star- All right. Star Wars. Speaking of the Bendu, let's talk about uh, let's talk about Rebels. Yeah, yeah, man. Steps into shadow. What an episode! Forty minutes of nonstop action. Unbelievable. Like this show is really it's it's taking it to the next level. Yeah. All right. I got a lot written down here. I just want to say one thing to start off. Chris, have you heard Gray Jedi? Gray. Gray. Jedi? You ever hear people talking about Gray Jedi? No. Good. People talk about Grey Jedi all the time. It was an EU thing. All oh, right. Okay. All, all love to the EU. You know? All love to the EU. This ain't the EU anymore. There ain't no Grey Jedi until they talk about Grey Jedi. No one's talking about Grey Jedi right now. Grey Jedi are like people who say like they can use the dark side and the light in balance. Oh, okay. But that ain't happening. Yeah. I don't think that can happen. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it, it feels very EU to me. That's a whole different universe where those rules made sense. Well, is that what 
like Qui Gon was. Uh, wow. No, sorry. No, people have, what, people have compared Qui Gon to a gray Jedi. No, but in Doc Disciple, is that what Quinlan Voss was trying to do? Uh, yeah. But, but it, it was but never. You saw me- what was, happened. Yeah, it was never mentioned. Yeah, weird things happened. Yeah, and they never said the words gray Jedi. Right. Because guess what? You can't be a gray Jedi. Gr- Jedi are light. The the second you stop being light, you're not a Jedi. Right. And I think that's what we're talking about. We're talking about steps into shadow, Chris. Okay. You ever think about that? Did you think about the title at all? Yeah. Steps into shadow. Yeah. What did you think it meant? Ezra. Like taking the steps into shadow? Yeah. I mean, he he's very influenced by the Sith holocron. He's obviously Chris, using it. He's using the dark side. Yeah. He's and he's oh man, is he getting powerful? Like, hey, he sprouted. Yeah. He hit his growth spurt. Yeah. You notice he's taller? He's taller. He's, he has a, you know, the thing is like, he's more knowledgeable. I don't know if that's good or bad, but you saw the things he was doing. He's stronger. He's like 17 now. Yeah. He's like stronger. Yeah. Now. It, it's not a game anymore. It's not no. like fun. Like this, th- he took it to a different level. He's killing people in like, like in the first like two minutes. He's making people kill other people and then themselves. Yeah, he's controlling people to kill them. Yeah. yeah. That's why it was like really dark when after the, was it the ATDP or is that what it's yeah, called? Yeah, the walker, the chicken yeah. walker. And then yeah. he just kind of made him walk off the edge. Yep. I was like, you probably didn't have to do that. And he wasn't controlling, you know, the, he wasn't controlling the walker. He was controlling the guy's hands. The driver. Yeah. Like, like Vader would control like the guy's neck, you know? Uh-huh. Like, that's pretty dark. Yeah. Work is hard. You, <laughs> Yeah, it's a little easier when you use the dark side, I guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you, know what's creepy about about Rebels? Rebels is, is doing something really insidious and creepy. They're showing you someone using the dark side, but they're not like doing the ominous Williams music. Like, oh, 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 that sounded not bad. I, I, I had to continue it. I thought I was watching Return of the Jedi. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> I'm just doing whale noises. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Whales and whiskey will happen. That's gonna happen. I am. I'm actually like really looking forward to it. You better. You better be watching because we ain't. It's gonna be secret. I kind of wanna record. We have to I'm do only, one I'm episode. I'm on only the boat. gonna. We're, we're only gonna say this once. All right. When we do whales and whiskey, <laughs> you you're only gonna. You, you better be watching because we're only gonna give you like one clue, and you're gonna have to find it. So, Ezra. He's using the dark side. He is. And you know what Rebels doing? They're not doing like the creepy music. They're just showing you a guy killing people using the dark side. Yeah. A lot acting of people out of die. anger. Ezra killed like like 10 people. Before, Easy. In like the first five minutes of the show. Yeah. You know, and he's he's doing it for all the right reasons. But I mean, he's 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 not on the Jedi path anymore. Yeah, he's lost. Yeah, he, he's, he's lost. But like he always springs back. You know, yeah. like, I he mean, because he's doing back. out of the right reason, like Anakin did, right? Right. He springs back, and then right he, now he takes like three steps backwards. Yeah, yeah. And like, so Kanan's like distance himself. He's blind. He's working it out. You know, he's like kind of living in the dark right now. He, he he even distanced himself from the Force again. Well, not for nothing. I don't blame him. Like, mm. you really need to refine yourself. Yeah. With, with that, what, what yeah. he's going through. So he put himself in exile trying to figure things out. Yeah, no one's prepared for that. No, it, it, it's tough. And he blames himself for what happened. Mm-hmm. He blames himself for what happened with Maul and Ezra and Ahsoka. He blames himself for all of it. Right. He had a lot to work out. Get it. Okay. Uh, Hera, she's working more closely with uh, the Rebellion Command. That's she's happening. almost like a general at this point. She's becoming a general, yeah, for sure. She's definitely like strategizing and like working in the command center right now. She uh, re- revamped her like her, her suit look, a little. Her bit, look is, right? is a little different. Her yeah. uniform. I think she's wearing a gray shirt now. Everyone's look is a little different. Now. Yeah, they changed it up a little. Yeah, everybody's different except the for season Chopper. three revamp. Mm. 
You know, they did it in Clone Wars, too, after season three. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, uh, Zeb lost his sleeves. He got, he got no sleeves now. Sleeveless. Yeah, looking looking cool. He's more aerodynamic. Badass. Yeah. Well, yeah. did you see? He, like, caught... Uh, what, was it Sabine with, like, his feet? Yeah. Was it Sabine or was or, it or, or it was. I thought it was um, a Rex. When it was oh, holding maybe him, it was Rex. It was holding him out, outside of the uh, the ship. Oh, that's another time. Him going outside. Yeah. <laughs> that was, dude, that was great. Hey, Rex is awesome, right? Yeah, R- Rex is the man. He's he's really in it. So, you got him. I, I just love hearing him say, like, Clankus. Clankus. Yeah. That was awesome. He's lost the weight. He's in fighting shape now. So, all right, I I, I got some clips I pulled. I want to I want to play some clips. How about it? All right. Sound good? Sound a good, Joe. <laughs> what, what was that? I don't know. I'm drinking limoncello. I don't know what happened. I told you not to do impressions. <laughs> Stop the show. I yeah. I I could do the bendu, but not the limoncello. <laughs> <laughs> the Sith holocron? You opened it? Yeah, I opened it. So what? Ezra, you know only someone who uses the dark side can open this thing. Well, the things I've learned from it have really helped me. You're using it? Maybe you should too. You might actually learn something. Ezra, do you have any idea how dangerous this path is? Everything I've learned has helped me win one battle after another. I'm using it for good. Acting out of anger offers quick results, but it's a trap. Not for me! I can't let you keep this. Fine. I don't need it. Just like I don't need you. Uh oh. See, I don't speak to the TV often, but that's when I was like, oh man, he didn't say that. Oh no, you didn't. Yeah. Because it was like, look at what happened to him. You know, like he's trying to teach you all the things he knows, trying to make you. He's angry. Yeah. But you got to remember, Ezra met him when he wasn't a Jedi Knight yet. Right. You know, Yoda dubbed him a Jedi Knight. So he kind of has that relationship with like Kane, like a little bit older brother a little bit. Yeah. And it was really coming out and the anger was coming out. Like you haven't been around. Yeah. And usually you do the opposite of what someone's telling you. Yeah. You know, and and not I got this dark side thing going on. If you were 17. Whoa, sorry. If you were 17 and you have a Sith holocron, right? No one's yeah. really watching everything you do. Would you be like, let me like, you know, test the waters out? I mean, it, when are you most tempestuous and angry and like volatile? Well, I'll tell you, man. That, 17 years old, man. That, that thing is talking to him. Yeah. Like he walked into his room and he hides it underneath one of his helmets. Yeah, and it's like, just glowing. Hey. And I love, I love that the voice. He was angry. Well, the voice is the voice of the voice actress of... Asajj Ventress. Nika, Nika Futterman. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I love... Uh, clearly, like, you think of Ventress right when you hear this voice. Totally. Like, Sith. Yeah. It, I, I can assure you it's probably not Ventress, because if you read Dark Disciple... Well, I don't spoilers. Want, I, yeah, I don't want to tell you. You should read Dark Disciple. Just, just read it. Just read it. But anyways. Uh, yeah. He's using the dark. He's straight up using the dark side. It's right there. Yeah. He's like, so what? Yeah. You know, I'm, 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 it's happening. So Ezra's on a path and he's like, yeah, I'm doing it, man. I, it's fine for me. Yeah. It's working. It's working for it's me. It's working. It's working. It, like, that's the weird part. He's like, it's, it's working for me. It's not a trap for me. He's saying, what does that mean? You know, what's weird too. Is um, you know, I don't want to say what he's doing is right. No, is it working for him? Yeah, because he's like he learned a, a bunch quick results. Yeah, exactly. Like he's doing some really cool stuff. Mm-hmm. But I feel like he might be at that edge. Like if you keep going forward, maybe you're gonna get those Sith eyes. You get, yeah, you know you don't have the Sith eyes yet. But wait till you get the Sith eyes. Yeah, it's gonna get weird. Yeah, it's gonna get weird. You, you live on a ship with people. It's gonna get weird when you get the Sith eyes. Right. And everyone's like, Yeah, you're like a creepy dude now. Yeah. And you're hateful. Yeah, something's happening. Yeah, Sith aren't like community people. No. You know, you're not going to be able to, like, go have lunch with everyone and also just be a Sith. No, it's constant plotting. <laughs> the hate is going to take you. Yeah, it's uh, absolute power. 
So, and, yeah, yeah, the I, anger is yeah. gonna is gonna take him. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, He's gonna be consumed by the anger if, nothing he, if he keeps it up. Good is gonna come from that. Yeah. So, it, it's get it's getting it's getting real. Love Ezra's he- haircut reminds me of like a Maximus in Gladiator. Okay, remember that? Yeah, yeah, kind of reminds me of that. It's cool. It, he looks more. He's growing up. Exactly. He looks all grown He's up. He's sprouted. Yeah. I mean, they make him a lieutenant. Yeah, He's that is He's leading his own crew. Yeah, but then, like, Hera, like, you know, takes that right from him. Yeah, whipped him. Yeah. Well, but that's good, up. though. You know what I mean? Hey, that's good. He lost a phantom. Hey, you know something? That's what I said to Alexa. I was like, this phantom has been in, like, episode one, and now it's just gone. Like, it it's had, gone. That guy with the B-Wing gave it a hyperdrive. Yeah. They were using the fan- the Phantom was a big loss. It was. That's a huge. No one's making. A- That's a huge loss. They had two ships to start with. Yeah. They had the Ghost and they had the little little away team ship, the Phantom. And it's gone. He lo- he screwed up. That's not coming back. No, it's gone. Yeah. It blew up. Hopefully, they get like some sort of a replacement. But I don't know what. It, it won't re- be the Phantom. It it fit- had a hyperdrive. And it fit into the Ghost perfectly. Like that came with. The ghost. Yeah, like you know from action figures, you buy a vehicle and it has like a part. If you buy a replacement of that part, it's never going to be the same. Never. No. The grooves are different. <laughs> you know? It's yeah. never going to be the same. He lost the Phantom. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, so he made some mistakes this episode. He made a lot of mistakes this episode. He did. He pulled, you know, he was pulling all these missions off, but he really was kind of a little, a little impulsive. You know what's crazy too is... um. You know the Y wings, how they're referring to them as old ships. They are. They're from they're from the Clone Wars, man. Yeah, but they're a little more more modified than from the Clone Wars. And the they, Clone were Wars, they were stripped. Yeah, they were more Those, sleek. Th- that's you look at the the model from the Clone Wars, then you look at the ones from Rebels. All they've done is just strip off the metal from the outside. That's all they did. They took off the shell, basically. All the pretty outside. Yeah. Flare. Yeah, what you're seeing in A New Hope is just the stripped off ones from from Clone the, Wars. The skeleton. Yeah, it's it's all skeleton. That's why it's all exposed. And I love that. Mm. I love how they wrote that in. It's I beautiful. like that look better than the cleaned up look. Isn't that weird? Yeah, me too. I love the fact that Chopper didn't want to get back in, in a Y-Wing. That yeah. was his first job. Oh, that's true. Very true. Re- remember remember yeah. that? He crash landed. Yeah. And Hera saved him. Yeah. He didn't want to get back in a Y wing. And, yeah, and then Zeb just like boom. boom. Yeah, too good. Chop, always good. He's always steadfast. You know what's cool? That little pot on his head was yeah. like blue, 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 antenna. Yeah, figuring it out. He know he can control Y wings. Was that the first time we saw him use that thing as an antenna? I think so. Yeah, like a little radar thing. Yeah, yeah, it was fantastic. Yeah. So speaking speaking of ships, all right. Rebels has shown us the A-Wing, the Phoenix Squadron, right? They introduced that. Yep. The B-Wing with with the prototype. Blade Wing. The Blade Wing. Like, amazing. Could take out a Star Destroyer. Yeah, yeah. Now they show us the Y-Wings. All right? Dude, I, I, I know what you're going to say. Now, with the exception of the U-Wing, which is brand new, there's only one more wing left Yeah. for Rebels to reveal. It's a very famous wing. The X Wing, dude. Now I'm telling you, if Rebels we... Rebels is going they've done it all. They've carefully and quietly introduced every single rebel ship that we know. Like like every fighter, they've introduced it. Yeah. They're gonna introduce the X Wing. They're gonna show us the origins of the X Wing. I'm gonna hit the roof on that one. Yeah, it we're all gonna hit the roof. It's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be great, man. Yeah, it's gonna be really cool. And I love the fact there's only like 14 Y wings. That's it. I, I think there was less than that. I counted like seven. By the time they got done. Yeah, by the time they got done, because they were like uh, they were killing them. Yeah, real they, fast. They were, yeah. And you know what was great too? Like Hera, they, Hera yeah. was saying that it wasn't for them. It was for another Dada- branch. General Dadanas. Yeah, it's another branch of the rebellion. Chris, Chris, think about this. General Dodonna. Episode four, General Dodonna. Uh-huh. Princess Leah. Yeah. That's why I was like, this is this is huge, guys. It's tying it huge. in. We're um, tying it in. I, you know, the just the thought of possibly hearing one of their names in Rogue One really gets me jazzed up. It's gonna happen. 
So, you know, Hera's moving up in the ranks. She knows about General Dodonna's unit, mm. which is where, you know, episode four took place. Right. So, this is what blew my mind. That means that the Y-Wings we saw in A New Hope yep. were the only Y-Wings out there. Yup. That's it. Who knew that you could own the entire Y-Wing fleet by getting like six of them? Yeah, that's pretty crazy, right? Chris, only one came back from the from the Death Star one. I know. That's why that's I thought it. it was really I was like, those are the ones they're gonna use. That's it. There's only one that came back. There's only one left. What happened to the last Y Wing? I I have no idea. We gotta find out what happened to the last Y Wing. Cause we didn't know that was literally the last Y Wing. It's in the Rebels Historical Center. I I, I don't know. <laughs> that was but who knew? That was literally the last one crazy yeah there was like it, it you know what's sad what at, at the end of a new hope at the end of star wars yeah you see like it's literally like maybe five or six ships yeah i like, like that's sad like we yeah. lost a lot of good people yeah it was oh. like two two or three x-wings a y-wing and the falcon the falcon yeah that's it yeah that's it like we luke, got the job done luke and wedge that's it survived yeah and then like a y-wing and and the falcon yeah who was flying that y-wing uh, it's written down somewhere yeah we oh wait was it um we need to find out was it pose mom i think it was pose mom no it couldn't have been yeah she was there oh, oh wait oh, hold no, on. That, that was return of the jedi return of the jedi and my I bad think she, my bad she uh she was flying a wings that was right yeah she was an a, she was one of the a wings that returned she was with Lando. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, my bad. My bad. I was um, going to say that. What's what's the... I Actually, I don't know the, the time frame I in searched between this, yeah. I searched, the movies. I, I searched who it was in the Y-Wing. I forgot. I'm not looking it up now. Yeah, no, no. I don't want you to. I was just okay. saying. Yeah. So crazy stuff. That's too much work. <laughs> it's not, but I'm just not going to... I'm not going to uh, grind this thing to a halt. You guys are so lucky you have the internet. Me yeah. and Joe were literally exchanging stories. Yeah. Of uh, not the internet. Not having it. Yeah, we never yeah. had that. All right. So, two more things before we uh, before we move on from Rebels. Only two? Yeah, I want to I wanna play another clip here. There was a lot. Don't worry. This is a, this is a, this is a longer clip. Stay with us, all right? I, I want I want to hear this because I feel like... I feel like listening to this brings out more than even watching it did. All right, so listen to this now, and then we'll talk about it. Ah, you heard my call. Good. Your imbalance woke me from a deep slumber. Imbalance? Your presence is like a violent storm in this quiet world. You're a force wielder, but you're not a Jedi. Wielder? Hmm. Jedi and Sith wield the Ashtar and Bogan, the light and the dark. I'm the one in the middle. The Bendu. What do you call yourself? I am Kanan Jarrus, Jedi Knight. You carry conflict with you, Kanan Jarrus, Jedi Knight? It's this. <laughs> ah. Interesting. Careful, it's... <sighs> dangerous. How so? It's a Sith holocron, a source of evil. My student's been using it, and I'm afraid it's changing him. An object cannot make you good or evil. The temptation of power, forbidden knowledge, even the desire to do good can lead some down that path. But only you can change yourself. Not always. Ah, your conflict becomes clear. That device in the ground, why do you have it? It keeps the spiders from attacking me. May I see it? Hey, hey! What did you do? I am helping you. It was the only thing protecting me from those creatures! You believe that, but you must learn to see things differently now. Look, I can't see anything. Not anymore. No. You are unwilling. Are you saying there's a way to restore my vision? Your sight cannot be healed, but I can teach you to see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
there's always room for knowledge. There's a lot to unpack there. There is. Yes. First of all, the Bendu is the best. Yeah. He's Tom awesome. Baker. Tom Baker killed it. Like, I didn't know how much I loved Tom Baker. Like, he was always my favorite Doctor Who back from, like, the early 80s. But his unbelievable, like, what a weird and cool way he, like, like voiced this character. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, I love that stuff. Right. Like, the way he changes his, like, like inflection. I'm no one in the middle. Like, growling it for no reason. Right, exactly. Like, it's so unpredictable, and I love that. I'm helping you. I'm helping you. <laughs> ah. He must like, have had a blast. Yeah, he, he sounds like he's always having a blast. Mm-hmm. Kanan Jonas, Jedi Knight. Like, so cool. And then goes to the Bendu. I'm the Bendu. Like, so cool. Love it. Lo- absolutely love, like, Tom Baker's performance. Oh, yeah. So, a lot to unpack there. So, we finally made Ashla and Bogan, like, canon. Like, those were, like, terms floating around for a long time. But now they're for real. The light and the dark are called Ashla and Bogan. Okay? You with me? I'm with you. You with me? Knowledge. Knowledge, man. He also laughs at the Sith Holocron. Oh, yeah. You know what this is like? I know you didn't read Lord of the Rings, okay? But Filoni did. This guy's like Tom Bombadil, all right? You're not going to find him in the in the, the films. This is a guy that Frodo and company met right after they left the Shire, all right? And before they, like, after they met the Black Riders. And they meet this guy who's like, he's all powerful. He's like an elemental force connected to the Earth. It didn't make the movie. It wasn't in the movie. All right. He already sounds awesome. This guy's amazing. He took the ring. He looks at the ring. The, the, the one ring that controls everything. He looks at it. He made it disappear for two seconds. And then he brought it back. He's like, it It literally had zero power of him. The guy was basically God walking around. And he had a girlfriend. He was like Lady of the Water. A lady friend. Yeah. Goldberry. Tom... The the Bendu reminds me so much of Tom Bombadil when he l- takes that Sith Holocron and he's like, ah, it's, this yeah. has power? Click, 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 it's open. Whatever, don't care. It's dangerous. He's like, yeah, that, like, you know, he's like, it, it's not dangerous unless you let it become dangerous over you. Mm-hmm. Only you, I love the idea that he puts forth, only you can change yourself. Yeah. And Kanan's like, not always. He's like, ah, I see your conflict. Mm. You know, like he's a tempest on the on this on this world. Yeah. Kanan needed this. The Bendu is saying that <laughs> he can't see because he's unwilling to see. Unwilling to see. Because he is not bringing about the change within himself to see. That's literally all he's saying. And it's just like turning to the dark side people turn to the dark side because they choose to turn to the dark right. side knowledge in itself does not make you turn the desire to even do good to choose to do good can make you turn and i love that distinction between the personal responsibility of owning knowledge and learning knowledge and then choosing the knowledge to act upon it mm. you know like you have to know about the dark side. Oh, yeah. You have to learn. You can learn about it all you want. But the choice to use it and to, 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 to do something, that's where it's made. And it's all within one person. It's all within the choices that you control yourself. Things do not control you. You make the choices within. Right. And I love what the Bendu was saying there. That's exactly what he was saying. Blew me away. Yeah. Blew me away. And you know what else blew me away? What? He keeps the Sith Holocron. Yeah. He's like, mm-hmm. But then again, I think about it because we saw clips of like the whole season. Yeah. And Maul and Ezra gets it back in some way. Yeah, because the Bendis probably take it. I don't care. Do you think like Maul's just like, hey, can I have that? And he's like, the Bendu, take it. Yeah, because he doesn't care. I really hope he doesn't get like sliced up. Now, I want to get it. I want to get into this thing. Where he was talking. All right, I want I want to play it one more time. All right, just a little part of it. I want to play a little part of this. Your imbalance woke me. 
from a deep slumber. Imbalance? Your presence is like a violent storm in this quiet world. Yeah. You're a force wielder. But you're not a Jedi. Wielder? Hmm. Jedi and Sith wield the Ashlar and Bogan, the light and the dark. I'm the one in the middle, the Bendu. All right. First of all, did did you hear the little Ahsoka bird? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she sits at his at his shoulder. That's kind of cool. Right. right? Do you think Ahsoka met her? Met met the Bendu? Possibly. Because we're seeing this owl a lot. Yeah, yeah this owl's like a like a little hint. It's message. A, yeah. It yeah. <laughs> yeah, like the post the postman yeah. message. Um Looks like an owl, sounds like a hawk. Mm, did, very did, cool. Did you see, did you hear his reaction when he's like, wielder? Yeah. Hmm. It's like, he was incredulous when he said, I'm a, I'm a force wielder. He doesn't wield the force either way. Right. He's not a gray Jedi. So I'm talking about wielding the force. This guy doesn't wield the force in any way. He's just very knowledgeable. The force flows through him. It's not light. It's not dark. It all just flows through him. I've been talking about this for years, Chris. A unified force. So is this sort of like the father on the Mortis episode? Kind of. But the father was keeping the Ashla and the Bogan in balance. I don't think this guy's balancing anything. All right? You're a plumber. Think of a think of a faucet, right? You turn on the faucet, water comes out, right? Yep. It comes out of one stream, right? If you were to put a divider in there, what would happen? It would split into what? Two. Two streams. The Ashland and the Bogan. Right? It's flowing. I will never look at plumbing the same. It's circular. <laughs> Doing the bull dance. <laughs> Fell in the flow. But what I'm saying is, the Bendu isn't splitting those that stream. I'm not looking at I'm not looking plumbing again. <laughs> oh man! But he ain't split. He it's all unified. He's it's just one. It's he's a circle. Le- he's not wielding anything. He's just letting it flow. Yeah, doing the bull dance just to see what happens. Mm, well done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. And that I love the Bendu. I can't wait to learn more about it. I hope we see him again. Yeah, man. I think we are. We're gonna see a lot of him. I have a feeling. It's pretty cool. So, Steps into Shadow, I feel like this whole path that the Kanan's on, he's not on the Jedi path anymore because the Jedi path was devoted entirely to the Ashla. Not this unified thing, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, the Force without light or dark. It's not gray because it's without light or dark. It's just the Force. It's without. I... Your eyes are glazing over on me. No, uh, it, am I preaching? No, I don't want to preach. No, what was weird is every time you see Kanan like meditating, yeah, those like hermit crabs are all over him. Yeah, they don't care. <laughs> they just, uh, you know, he's just chilling. They're like, we like you, you cool. Yeah, and plus his giant spiders, we don't want to be near them. Yeah, <laughs> those spiders, man. Well, hey, he I mastered saw, the spiders. You know what was weird? I saw a softer side of the spiders, like when he. Was like, you know, I'm not afraid. They're not a threat anymore. It was all like, hey, we're cool. It's kind of like they didn't sense the fear in him. Yeah. So they didn't sense the fear. Like, they didn't attack. Well, that's like the oldest tale in the book. Like, yeah. a wild animal, they can sense your fear. That's it. So if you if they don't sense your fear, you're almost blind to them. Kanan didn't even know. Like, Kanan didn't even know he was conflicted. He didn't even know he had fear, but he did. Right. He had to expunge that to see himself. The Bendu says to to see, you have to see yourself first. Right. That was crazy. You know, it makes a lot of sense. When eye you think opening about stuff. It. Eye opening stuff for sure. Mm-hmm. So steps into shadow. I mean, shadow is what like a mix of the light and the dark, right? Right. I feel like Kane is taking a different way, a different path, away from the Jedi path. I feel like he's becoming not a Jedi anymore if he's going to follow the Bendu. The Bendu. Bendu. You know, and, and learn a different way to see the Force. Perhaps in a unified way. Without 
the dogmatic views of the Jedi and whether the passion and anger of the of the Sith. Like just just using the Force, seeing the Force for what is as a natural, physical phenomenon. That's what I think. I don't know. I hear you. And Ezra's taking steps in the shadow is turning into the dark. Right. All right. That's Rebels. Yeah, but it was so powerful hearing, like, Kanan being like, you know, like, I'll always be here for you. Like, stuff so they like rec that. Yeah, he's like, I'll, like, he loves him. Right. You know? Like, and I think that Kanan cares. I mean, Ezra cares about Kanan. They do. It, they do. He's a rebellious teenager. I mean, yeah. let, let's put it that way. I'm like, he's 16, 17, yeah. whatever. We're all there. They care about each other. They're friends. They're, they're brothers. They're father and son in a lot of ways. But an older person telling me what to do? No. But I don't think that means... At the end of the episode, I don't think that either have changed. Like, Kanan's on his path. And right now, I'm not seeing Ezra deviating either. Right. Like, it all went wrong, but he hasn't figured out, oh yeah, that's because I was using the dark side. No, he wanted to complete missions. That's yeah. what he was doing. That's what he was, that's his mindset. The kid's like a, a player on Battlefront, just completing those missions. Right. You know? Racking up the racking up the achievement points. Right. That's all he's trying to do. Complete those missions. Yeah, and then Hera kind of smacked him right down to reality. Lost a phantom. Well, that's huge. Yeah. Like, like we were saying. So. Yeah. That's Rebels. He said, I will always come back for you. Yeah. That's what he said, right? That sounds very ominous. What's go what is he gonna have to come back for? I don't know, is that a haiku? What are we gonna find? Friday time, guys. Rogue. Right. We're going rogue. Yeah. Yeah. I rogue. This is Rogue Friday, right? I go rogue. I rogue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So you listen to this. You're getting ready for Rogue Rogue Friday. Yeah. You guys are listening. Midnight you might be, Madness. You might be getting ready for Midnight Madness. You might be in line. Yeah. Yeah. It's time. I know. I'm in line and I'm cold. Bring it's, a sweater. Yeah. Actually, it's, the end of September. Like it's not September 4th. No. It's, it's September 30th. Yes. Bring a sweater. A lot has changed. Things have changed. But guess what? I already got all the figures. Well, just about. You did. I got a lot of figures here. It came early. And guess what, guys? We have a look at most of the Rogue One figures you're going to find. Maybe a few more. We're going to open them up right now. We're going to do this right now. And we're going to check out each figure. We're going to talk to you about them. What we think of them, which one you should pick up, which ones you should pass. Joe, you have about, I'm not going to lie, you have about 80% of yeah. the figures being released. Yeah, what, what don't we have here? That Hasbro is releasing. All right, All right. let's get let's get right to it, okay? We have to. I mean, dude, there's a, a, a whole mound of stuff here. We have a mountain of things. It's like Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas, but it's not. It's Rogue Friday, and we're opening things. First up, K2SO. What did he say? Uh, okay, let's open it up. Yeah, he's a cool droid. Nah. <laughs> yeah, that's what it says. Cool droid. Bob. <laughs> I gotta say, I love the packaging. It's great this year. Yeah. Yeah. Artwork. Yeah. Great stuff. Yeah. The only thing that I miss. Hey, you know what? It's not easy to open these. No, no, no. no. They're never. Easy these are like a, these are like cutters. Now uh, mm -hmm. I, I I miss. <laughs> it's it's a very it's a very thick card this year. I miss the other characters being on the back of the card. Me too. But they're promoting their app. You can make movies with your toys or something. What is this, like like um, anti-theft anti, uh, anti -theft or something? They got like plastic all the way through? Yeah, probably. Maybe. Yeah, it's a little blue, but You're just pain. ripping them right open. Collect his items. You know how I right do. You know how I do. I got to tell you, this week when the electricity went out, I redid I redid my uh, my half a closet here, my water my water heater closet with all my figures. You redone, done, did it. I redid, redidly done it. <laughs> 
I got some star, I got some uh, star stands. Look them up on, on eBay. Star stands. Yeah, star stands. All right. Now, K2SO, I got to tell you, this is kind of cool. Little grappling hook thing. Yeah. I don't hate it. But it's useless. Yeah. It's not part of the movie. I don't know where it goes on them. At least I got it matching now. Yeah. Thank God for that. Yeah. Thank God. I got to tell you something. I'm throwing out all these little doodaddy pieces. <laughs> Like these great googly moogly pieces, I'm throwing them all out. Googly doobly doobies. Googly moogly. I'm throwing them all out. Yeah. It I'm retracts. Th it retracts. Guess what? I've had them all in a box from The Force Awakens. Because all those, all those little, all those little pieces. <laughs> uh, I'm, th I'm throwing <laughs> them all out. No, we can melt them and make a better figure. Can we? Well, we don't have the technology to no. lead us to kings. But uh, they could not make these things and make something special. So this K2SO figure is <laughs> awesome. I have to say, it's really awesome. I'm, I, I love this figure. You know what's missing? What? A hat. Yeah, they don't, they don't have a three and three quarter hat here. It's coming. Uh, is it? Well, I don't know if it's removable on Wave 2 with the Cassian. Chris, he ain't standing for me. No, he doesn't stand? Stand him for me. His legs, uh, look, you can like kind of open them a little bit. That's why you need the star stands. Star stands? We're not endorsed. No, we're, we're absolutely not. But We're I'm, not endorsed by anybody. I'm, I'm telling you, they are wonderful. All right. <laughs> Next up, Kane and Jarrus in Stormtrooper Disguise. Opening this guy up. Now, this guy is one per pack, so he's going to be a little rare. Now, I'm excited for this one because I, I don't have this yet. Yeah, well, no. actually, maybe uh, maybe I'm on the verge of getting it. Maybe. I don't know. We're, we're talking about the future now. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> oh, there we go. You got him standing? hey -o. Look at it. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Now, so if you see Kanan on the, sh on the rack, I my recommendation would be to pick him up because he's one per pack. Is it one per pack for yeah. Kanan? Yeah. Yeah. Sabine as well. Yeah, Kanan and Sabine. All right, so doodads. He comes with some disc thing. That's getting right in the trash. I don't even know. What That's this trash. Is. I don't even know. What does it do? What is it? It's filthy. It's gross. I don't even get it. It's stupid. It's it, it, it's it's absolutely stupid. You're not gonna hear that any of this now. podcast. Yeah, I don't like this. Yeah, this all this stuff. Literally, I'm throwing all of those plastic <laughs> things right in the trash. <laughs> don't care. <laughs> don't care anymore. You know right. what we care about? We care about Kanan. I care about the figs. In the Stormtrooper outfit with the removable helmet. I got to take a sip. Sippy sip. Yeah, you tell me about it. Tell me about it. Okay, Kanan looks awesome. He, uh, he's in the Stormtrooper armor. His uh, head is definitely, well, I think it's a new sculpt, actually. He is looks, it? He looks pretty pissed off. Look at his face. His eyebrows, you know. He's ready to rock. Yeah, he's ready it's to rock It's at least a new roll. paint. You know what we need? We need Rex now. Yeah. And the Stormtrooper, so we can recreate that scene. But uh, this is cool. He has the pauldron. Look at the pauldron. I like the pauldron. Um, he looks great. I mean, Stormtrooper armor, you got to love yeah. it. And he has a removable helmet. So this is what we love. We love removable stuff. We do. We love the helmet. And you know what's funny? It's the Rebel Stormtrooper helmet, too. It is. That's cool. Yeah. And it's removable. And that is neat. Yeah. Let's see. Hold on here. He comes with his lightsaber and a Stormtrooper blaster. The, the helmet goes on well. You would never know it's canon. No, then you it's really like, wouldn't. You take it off. Whoa! Whoa! It's canon. There it is. I, You had me fooled. And the paint didn't strip. No. It's not on his nose. You know how the nose always, the paint comes off the tip of his nose? Don't even start. Yeah. That's like an old, old thing. Yeah. That I feel like they finally corrected. Kind of. I found a figure the other day I had it. No. I forget which one, but one, one of my figures has it. No, oh, that's a bummer. Uh, a, a newer one? Yeah. yeah. Oh. A, a Force Awakens one. Oh, come on. Yeah. Is there, Leia. is there a place to, like, clip the blaster or anything like that? Or no? I was looking on the sides. It doesn't look like it. And these are all five POA. Yeah, five, five points. If, uh, if you guys didn't know, we're, we're not even. I'm not even discussing that anymore. We're cracking open the three and three quarters. That's what we're doing. That's where we're at right yeah. now. So the uh, the helmet fits right in his hand. Get comfortable. That's There's good. a lot of figures here. Yeah, get comfortable. We're, we're, we're going through them all for you. Because you have some that I don't have. 
I have one thing right now that you don't have. Really? All right. Yeah, actually. And you you have uh, most of the three and three quarters that I don't have. But I don't know. We're speaking. Th- this is uh, like a future. Like, Where? am I talking to myself? If I'm in line right now, Chris, put your sweater on. Yeah. Be calm, and you're going to get everything you, you want. All right. Here, here's what annoys me. I get, the, I get the Stormtrooper blaster gun here. What am I supposed to do with it if I have his helmet off? Like, I have his helmet in one hand, his lightsaber in the other, and then this gun. I, I like what you're doing here. Yeah. I would leave it as is and just put the gun on the side. There is no side. No, I mean like the ground. Yeah. The okay. table. So I'm not going to throw him out, but I'm not loving it. Anyways, pick up this figure. Good stuff. So I put it in another shelf, too. I now have four shelves in my uh, in my Baylor closet. I'll tell you, man. The way that you have everything lined up with the star stands. The star stands are cool. It's it's pretty so awesome. I, I got like 100 figures on one shelf right now. All, easy. Easy. Yeah, all, all the Force Awakens. These are Home Depot shelves. Mm-hmm. And I got, I got my Black Series up top. And I got like like vintage like uh, like storage way, way up. And uh, the bottom is like all the weird stuff. I got like my uh, my Funko. And I have those uh, those terrible Disney figurines from The Force Awakens. I finally oh, oh, opened them up. Yeah, they're like uh, the small. They're yeah, small. I picked them up for like 25 bucks on Force Friday 2015. And I opened them up last night. And I got to tell you, Chris, those figurines are terrible. Well, what did you think? We also picked up one Vinylmation. Yeah, hey, whatever happened to that? I still got it. Oh. I think I promised to draw a debt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mike, if you ever want it, let me know. It's been a year. Yeah, almost. But uh, you know what's weird, Joe? If if they do Rogue One, yeah, I might buy one. I might try it out again, just it, in case. This is the thing. It's the excitement of not knowing. Yeah, it's the th- it's the rush. It is the rush. Yeah, gambling. <laughs> so, yeah, the 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 clause is coming together. It is. It looks great. All right. Next up, we have uh, J- Sergeant Jin Erso Iadu. Yeah, Edu, Iadu? Edu, I don't know. I say Edu yeah. because it's easier for me. It's the one where she has the, uh, like the the parka on, like the the yeah, throw, the, like the poncho with the, the hat. poncho and the hat with the with the. Is it a helmet or a hat? I we don't know. It's a hatlet. It's a, I like that. Hell hat. Hell, helmet hat. Hell. <laughs> hat mit. Hel- ha- what? Ha- I don't ha- know. Hatlet. Hatlet. I like that. Yeah. Caplet. Cap. Cal. Oh, that's it. Caplet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Now, I don't have All this right. figure either. You don't? No. I'm out hutting the hut right now. Yeah, dude, I, I, uh, I'm I, just buying my time. Awesome. Okay, so uh, <laughs> for crappy uh, add-on plastic, we have like this, and this came with Rex. What the hell is, what is it's that? It's just like a flaming ball of fire on a stick. Oh, the, gonna, pff, that's they, going straight in the trash. <laughs> they did this with uh, the Kylo Ren. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they did this with like twenty figures. Yeah, you give him like yeah. a, a wizard wand. What put- what terrible line of figures did they have that they like had this crappy plastic stuff just attached? Yeah, who's idea I mean, was it's this? literally the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. The jack does it the- shoot? Guys, the jack. I don't want to hear this stuff about like oh, like kids really like this stuff. They love the build a weapon. Play with the figure. Play with the figure. Does that shoot out? I don't care. <laughs> it will make me feel a I'm little gonna, better if it does. I'm going to try and make it shoot. I feel like that's going right in my face. That's not going to go in your face. Don't worry. It's loaded. It feels like it shoots. It's, it's definitely spring loaded. Dude, when we were kids, that thing would have shot 30 feet. <laughs> it's You're true. Right. You're not lying. Yeah. I, oh, we, hold on. We can't figure this out. It's a little flicker. There you go. Flicks. Yeah. Yeah, it went like two feet. So cool. Going in the trash. <laughs> All right. Sergeant Jin. All right. Cool figure. Does she come with a blaster or something? Yeah, she comes with a little blaster. Oh, okay. Look, she got this thing around her neck, like a life support system or something. Yeah. Oh, cool. Look at that. Just like the Kmart exclusive. Yeah. The oxygen mask. She has an oxygen mask in yeah. that? Yeah. She has it here too. Look, take a look at that. Like translucent, like plastic. Wow. This, hey, I'm not. That's actually kind of cool. This is a good one. Yeah, it's a good figure. Pick this one up. Pick up the uh, Iadu Genarso. There's three a lot of detail. Hey. Hey. Did she come with a little side blaster? 
Yeah, put it right in there. the holder. Can, does it fit in there? It should. I hope so. This makes it really... I'm, I'm, it does. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, this is cool. All right. I got to tell you what, what's going on here, though. Put them on your Needham. It is a Needham. Oh, look at that. Like, there's a canister, too. Yeah. For the uh, for the helm. Yeah. Like, you can't put her, her arm happening? down all the way. Why can't you breathe the air? Yeah, I know. What's up with the Yadu, huh? Oh, my God. Can you put it over her face like a mask? Can you? Will it fit? I feel like it's going to break if I do it too much. I'm going to put... I'm going to leave it. You're going to leave it? Yeah. But uh, great figure. Stands well. Oh, wait. Maybe not. Well, so look at this. I mean, you're moving the paper around a lot. And this yeah, standing. you got, you got K2 standing. You have... Uh, if Kane and standing, she's a little like weighted on one. All right, there, there we go. Is. Okay, she'll be fine with the stand. All right, good, very good. Um, what I'm not liking is the guns are just like one color. They're like, that's they're it. They're like trash. Yeah, they're not like detailed and all at all. You know, Bummer. not not loving that. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. All I, right. I don't even think they painted this one. This is like, no, they don't paint it. This is like plastic color. Yeah, it's just crappy. Don't love it. Don't like. It. But I do like that it is a removable pistol from the holster because in the Force Awakens they like side on Ethano. Yeah. Like the gun was just permanent on his in his holster. Yeah, like that's kind of. I don't it. love that. So I like that they did this. Yeah. Next up, season two, Sabine. This is going to be a hard one, everyone. Yeah, this is also one per pack like the Kanan. If you see it, buy it. Yeah, you have to grab this. This is going to get jacked up in price. Oh. All right? So you're not going to be able to find in the aftermarket for months and months and months. It's weird. Chris, what is this thing? I don't know. It's another thing with a string. <laughs> I don't I don't know. It's going directly in the trash. <laughs> this, these terrible pieces of plastic. Are you keeping any of them? No, it's good. My... Can I have one? No, they're going in the trash. <laughs> also, I threw that piece of plastic with Sabine's guns in it. Oh, no, you need Could that. you reach that? Yeah. Could you reach on. that for me? I oh. don't know which one it is. I threw it by accident. I'm on it. I got all I got all hyped up with all the trash. So this is uh, Season 2 Sabine. She has like her racing stripes on her uh, checkered like shoulder. And uh, she kind of has like a hip thing going on where she's like hanging out with one hip on the side. So the figure's weighted weird. Um, that was hard to see. Yeah, yeah, kind of weird. She has like that ombre hair, which is cool. I like the, I like these, uh, I like these guns. They're Mandalorian, right? Of course. Yeah, but again, ah, Mandalorian. Not... I can get a lot on the black hey, market for this. We didn't even talk about Hondo and Rebels. Hondo had awesome. a big pot. Yeah, he's awesome. You know what's funny? Like Ezra knew he was gonna take that chip and leave. Yeah, he knew. He wasn't even like surprised. He just like, like grinned. Yeah. He was like, "Ah, you." <laughs> yeah. He's acting in his own nature. That's it. I miss the turtle hat and and like his jacket. I miss the turtle hat too. Hey, he took his hat off. That's true. For like a brief moment. That's true. So Sabine has uh has holsters for her guns. That's cool. Yeah. This yeah. is a great figure. There's a there's a lot of uh, again guys. This is a removable helmet. We yeah. finally got Sabine with a removable. There's helmet. a lot of detail. I don't know what that thing is supposed to be. She has like the Simpsons like rabbit yeah, on one of her right. shoulders. I think it's supposed to be one of those owls, but I'm not sure. If it is, it really does look like a Simpsons rabbit, guys. Yeah, they kind of. I know that you one up. know what we're talking about. Yeah, you know what we're talking about. But you know something in season three now she has. Uh, the five Spectre five. I and like she that. She has the owl, so they did away yeah. with that rabbit, Simpsons rabbit. So she's a tough one to stand. I will say because she's like she's a feisty one. She's thin, like very thin legs, and she's like a hunt, like she got her hips out to one side, so it's not like evenly weighted. I don't know what's happening. Here. You know, you know what this calls for? A star stand. Star stand. All right. When you have, like, removable helmet characters, do you put that helmet on? I always have them holding their helmet. You know, because her, what is it, her right, her left arm is uh, at, like, a 90-degree angle. So I, yeah. I kind of put, like, I put it up, and I balance the helmet right on this. So it kind of looks like she's, like, holding it. So, like, yeah, I have her, like, holding the gun. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, the helmet goes on beautifully. It's a nice, like, rubberized helmet. 
pretty cool. And doesn't it fits like, great. Doesn't ruin the paint job. No, not at all. But yeah, you can like kind of get it into her right hand too. Because so you can hold it onto it. It's pretty cool. Helps balance it a little bit. Yeah, there we go. There you go. You get you did it. You done did it. Done diddly did it. Kind of. That works. Next up. Imperial Ground Crew. This is a nice one. I like it because it kind of looks like the Death Star Gunner. Yeah, but you'll see. Check out the back. All right, I can't wait. Here we go. Huh. You know the back of the helmet. I can't wait. Here we go. We've only just begun. Yeah, we got a, a while. <laughs> you didn't sound too jazzed up. No, no, I'm trying to get Sabine to stand. It's quite oh. hard. Well, Imperial, wow, he stands really well. Imperial Ground Crew like just stands like a boss. Yeah, you literally just took that out of the package and just put it down. <laughs> yeah. Um, piece of plastic is really big. Looks like a big jetpack. I don't know. It's stupid. Hey, guess what? What? Mine was uh, defective. You see how it has these shoulder straps? Yeah. Mine did not have the shoulder straps. And I was literally like, how does this stay on? It's and then I stupid. looked at the uh, the directions. If you throw that away, yeah, I would like to take that. Take it. Because mine didn't come with these things. I can't believe like it, you even care about them. You know what's weird? I, I'm going to put it on once and then never look at this again. Yeah. like, But I think it was the fact that I got one that didn't have it that I need to see it now. So, Chris, what are these sticks? Because these are the, uh, out of the sticks on the Imperial Ground Crew that Jin Erso had in the preview. Now, I want to see them use those as weapons. But I Yeah, it looks do, like it, right? Do you think uh, they use them to direct Imperial traffic? They are ground crew. Could be. But don't you want to see somebody get beat with those? It looks like they... Yeah, they look like, like Kali Eskrima sticks. Yeah, I want somebody to get beat with those. And there was a shot that we seen of someone using those as weapons. So Jin, right? I thought yeah. Jin had him on her back. Absolutely. Yeah. Great figure, very dark. This is a great wave, it's guys. It's gray and black. We're in for it. I We're mean, in for it. This is just the beginning. The chest pa the pack is nice and shiny. So the helmet is very similar to the Death Star Gunner. Very much. It doesn't have that swoop in the back. No, it's true. It's like it curves right around the, the yeah. skull. This one is just like a, a circle. It's just yeah. a helmet. It doesn't have that swoop in the back. So these sticks fall out of the back really quickly. You have um, to really, really push You're really going to push them in. They'll, they'll fly out. They're, they're gonna, pretty cool. They're going to get you. Yeah. Stands great. Stands like a boss. Beautiful. All right. I got to take a sip. You know sip something? Down. I don't even know who's next. Oh, okay. Okay. Stormtrooper. Stormtrooper with all kinds of accessories. So this Stormtrooper is straight up like a New Hope Stormtrooper. This could be a repack from like 20 years ago. I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> it probably is. It literally probably is with like updated paint. Who knows? It's just your, your average old Stormtrooper. I mean, I don't know. If you already have a bunch of Stormtroopers, this is probably optional. I have so many Power of the Force figures from, like, the early 90s. Yeah. It's insane. I know you do. All right. So this guy actually has some cool accessories. He doesn't have, like, like weird weird plastic stuff. So they did that on purpose, I think. I think they're like, well, we'll give you the Stormtrooper because he has cool accessories. Mm -hmm. Yeah, All but right. he, he looks uh, slim. He does look, does look slim. I have to say... The sculpt on the Stormtrooper is really good. Like, there's, like, ribbing, like, on, like, the black. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like, there's ribbing. On, it's not just, like, black plastic. It's actually ribbed, like, like the actual under undergarments of a, of a you know, Empire-era, like, Stormtrooper. Yeah. Like, there's, like, grooves and stuff. Like, I gotta be honest, this... I take back everything I just said. This may be one of the best Stormtrooper action figures I've ever seen. Like, every, feel that. Feel how detailed all the plastic is. Yeah, th this is top-notch, guys. They they spared no expense. They actually did. There's no goofy... Um, there's no goofy, like, plastic stuff either. No, this is 100%, like, on point to the money. Yeah. So, the gun is yeah, the is exact really same nice. gun. Dude, look at the helmet alone. Look how much detail is in that. 
Yeah, there is really a lot of detail in every bit of this. This is bananas. All right, the gun is not the same as Kanan's gun. I will say that. It's not? The gun is a little different. There are variations. It's more detailed than the Kanan's gun. I'm, I'm just really jazzed up to get to the different chest pieces. So, here. yeah, so this Stormtrooper comes with additional chest pieces, one that looks like battle damaged. Um. Oh, man. Like, the middle comes out of it, too. Wait, what? Look at that. The middle of the damaged piece? Yeah. Why? I don't know. For blast, maybe? Is that uh, a piece that could possibly get lost? Yes. The tiny little piece. So there's a battle damage one and one that comes with a pauldron. Yeah, like, like for a commander. And a really good, like, gun. Yeah, this little piece in the middle could definitely get lost. Yeah, it kind of it kind of moves. I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know either, but it's cool. All right, let's put the pauldron on. See how that works. I don't. I don't know how this sticks on. Now, what I've been seeing is that you have to have this piece on to put the pauldron piece on. So oh, is that it? It really jacks them up. Oh, look at him. It's so true. Now, does it make the figure look bigger or does it look right? Hmm. We're going to find out right now. It looks a little weird. Does it? From afar, okay, no, I could actually see it from afar too. Yeah, it, it builds it out too much. Yeah, if you were looking at it from the, like, it's a little much, but it's not the worst. It's not the worst. It's not but the you worst. Tell that you added stuff on. Yeah, I think overall, cool accessory. Yeah, way better than like your flingly things. And well, your discs and your your weird stuff. I'll tell you, man. Like, if this came out when I was a kid, my imagination was unbelievable. But just having the option of a battle damage chest armor would really add to it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why they didn't do that 30 years ago. Yeah. The, the, the kids are so spoiled now. All right. Everything I said about this being like your random old Stormtrooper, take it back. This is one of the coolest Stormtroopers I've ever seen. Great figure. Definitely buy it. The detail is top notch. I don't even know if you Next should open figure? this. Should you even open this? And it's Kylo Ren. Yeah, and just, it's just... It's just Kylo Ren. I don't see any noticeable differences. It's a repack. It looks entirely like a repack. No difference in paint. N literally nothing. As far as I can see. I'm not going to open it. Um. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Maybe we'll give this away. I don't know. I mean, check, out, check out Bruise and Blaster on Twitter. They should have at least gave you the one with uh, Unmasked, you know? Yeah, do something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so... Not even going to open that. We'll figure something out with that one. All right, great. Good first wave for the three and three quarter. Beautiful first wave. I mean, yeah. there's one, two, three that I don't have. Now, I want to talk about something. I was looking at... I had boxed some stuff. From the Force Awakens, you okay? boxed it up, put it away, storage. <clears throat> yeah, I never opened it up. There were th there were a couple of things. I was like, oh well, you know, this was really hard to find. It might be like expensive. I don't know if I want to open this stuff up, and it didn't retain its value. I'm talking about the Battlefront Shock Trooper. You know, the one that was real tough to find. This was really hard to find. I looked on eBay today, seventeen bucks you could buy it. That's insane. I you know, maybe going... twenty. There were ones that were really expensive too, but I mean. Joe, there was like we we had a hunt going on. Oh and yeah, we, and we I'm telling you right now, we did not get them in this area. All I have to say is that I really like the box. Yeah, the only reason I would keep it is like it's one of the only black series with with like color in the box. Right. Next up, the two Kmart figures, the Kylo Ren and the and the Ray. Mm -hmm. They were amazing, and guess what? They don't retain their value either. Like if you paid fifty bucks on it for on eBay. They're less than that now. You can get them readily available. Open them up. I'm opening them up right now. I'm well. I'll do it after the show. We got to get to Black Series. All I'm saying is, I'm opening up my Blacks. I'm opening up the Shock Trooper, the Battlefront Shock Trooper, and I'll open up the Ray and Kylo. 
don't care. I want to see them. I want to see the dioramas. Well, that's the thing. I think they those ones were made to open because they were. of the, the stands that they come with. Don't worry. They are losing value. These Which are is mass insane. produced. You can find them readily available on eBay and Amazon. Yeah. I mean, it's the hype. Then it goes down. If you got them and you enjoy them, open them up. That's it. They look killer on your that's shelf. My, that's that's it. I also got the cut. All right, let's go into six inch. This All is, right, this is beautiful. We're gonna start out with a bang here. Jin Erso Iadu came out exclusive. All right, this is out on Force Friday. I got her early. Beautiful figure. I really love. I mean, came out like closing stores like. Like, like I know, right? Like flies dropping. So I don't know how long these are even gonna be around for. But I'm really loving what Kmart's doing with these uh these packs. Oh, we need Black Series music here. Yeah. They out it did themselves with this one. They did. It it's better than the Kylo and the Ray. Yeah. It's it, this one's a little hard to get out of the package. Thank I, you, thank th you for letting me know. Yeah, this one I it makes you work a little bit. All right, all right. So what's this thing on the side here? I don't know. I think it's a grenade. I don't know. It's like a stick. It's a dynamite. I don't know. So, you see what they did there? Uh huh. So the rock is in the back. It's a cool rock. Can you uh, can you move these over? Yep. Thank you, sir. That's why I'm here, Joe. Yeah, we're doing this together. Did you did, now when you took them out? Did you care about keeping the plastic? Yes. Well, I didn't. Oh my gosh, Are they, is there elastics on this too? Yep. I, I actually cut those. I, I I had no. I couldn't deal with it. I didn't have time. I don't have time right now. That's why I was like, oh my god, <laughs> there's just too much stuff going on. Oh my god, why did they elastic it in? Who put this in here? I don't, uh, that's what I was thinking. Someone is doing that. Whose ever job it is to pack these up, well, and I hope they're paid well. I gotta yeah. tell you that. Did anybody order a love burger? Well done. My God. Yeah, I actually had to cut it. I just I gave up. This is ridiculous. We have nothing to cut it with. And I got these pliers here. Dude, those are serious pliers. Like, thank you. Are those electrical pliers? They just they just they just pliers. They're just getting the job done. Just working pliers. All right. Finally. Hey, She's what out. I what I did? I left the elastic holding the gun in her hand. Hey, it, that's smart. It's quite loose because I took it off originally, and I was like, nope, that's going back on. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna keep that there. Oh yeah, I see a respirator. She has that respirator on. The respirator goes on the back of the helmet, like the the straps. Oh yeah. Yeah, that works just fine. Right? If you Look, want to wear the, the respirator. Looks awesome. Um, I got some loose joints here on the arms. My arm, my left arm didn't go back down all the way. I gotta be honest, Chris, for a six inch scale, she looks pretty tiny. It's a beautiful She's guess, a short she's a, she's a short girl, I think. Guess what? What? The the hat comes off. Oh <gasps> Really? It comes off. Mine came off. Look at Boom, that. Yeah, yours came off. I saw she's it. she's even beautiful as a figure. Yes, exactly. I uh, I saw a review, and they didn't take off the hat, and I was like, really? They made this figure without removable hat or helmet, whatever you guys want to say. And guess what? The first thing I did when I took mine out of the package, booyah, took it right off. The hat comes off, guys. It's confirmed. I mean, a great figure. Detail, I mean, the Black Series is up in its game with every figure. Absolutely. This Absolutely. one is really nice. And the the blaster and the holster, little strap comes oh, right out. Oh, look at that. Fully detailed. There's a strap that, that goes right over. I love that. It's it, fully detailed. And you know what else is cool? That holster is not prefixed to her leg. It's strapped on. Yeah, it, it really is. You can actually move the holster around. I uh, feel like for how much they're skimping on a lot of these figures in three and three quarter... They're putting the money right into the Black Series. Do you think that's what they're doing? I don't know. And there's a little hook on our belt that that little, like, uh, I don't know, thermal charge goes on. Oh, yeah? Yeah. They went all out. They really did. It's very similar to, like, Ahsoka's lightsaber. You know how there's a little hook and it hooks on her belt? Yeah. It's it's very similar to that. I'm just putting it on the pegs here. 
guys, now this and one rough. I think retails for about $25, $26, whatever. This is 110% worth it. So here's the thing. The Ray and the Kylo, they were repacks with like a little paint addition, right? Yeah, they, they like airbrushed some like snow on their boots. This is the only place you're going to find Jin Erso Iadu right now. Yeah. And my gosh, look at this. This is a fantastic figure. I don't think this is going to be I love released. It. Just like a, a single card, you know? Yeah, no, I love it. Well, you know what I mean. Like the regular All right, where, box. Where, where does this like dynamite thing go? There's a little, uh, right, right over there on our belt, there's a little hook. And you can put it right on there. Look at that. Did you see it? That is correct. You really, yeah, oh, oh, there it is. Amazing figure. You have to buy this, guys. This is awesome. She looks so cool with the mask on. She does. Adventurer. I love this figure. Me too. Me too. All right, moving on. Move along. Come on. K2SO 6 inch. Oh, man. Here no, we must, go. This is a must buy, guys. Yeah. Must buy. I mean, we did this one last week a little bit. Yeah, but we didn't do an unboxing. I, I enjoy watching you rip figures out of package. Oh, well, thank you. I'll, I'll do a little rippy rip. Oh, then. my God. Yeah. I'm literally just sh splitting it. Yeah, you <laughs> you turn into a savage animal. The, the, I really the pot, do. You know, the little top that flips up. He doesn't do that. He no. rips the back, the figure I just, right out. I just literally tear the thing apart. Savage animal. Because I'm not I'm not keeping it. I care about the figure and that's all. K2SO is one of the greatest Black Series figures I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> this is a true statement. This figure is pretty phenomenal. Hey, you, you know what was weird? Buy it at any cost. It's it's the figure you have to have. This is this is the this is the Phasma this of, is of Rogue One. 100%. I feel like we're going to see him a lot more than Phasma. I hope so. Well, I, to be honest with you, the clips that we've seen, we already seen him more. Oh, it's true. He stands for, like, K2SO is awesome. End of story. Moving on. Oh, Imperial Death Trooper. Oh, this is a, a big fan favor right now. Did you bring that over last week? I did. You did, yeah. But this is the one that people, again, like, really jazzed up about. <laughs> rip it open. Rippy rip. There's nothing left. The package just disintegrates. It just melts in my hands. There we go. <laughs> and then you throw it. Get away from me. <laughs> like crystal lime. <laughs> yeah. Look at that cannon, huh? Painted and everything. His little gun, his little handgun is a scope. Now, people have been telling me okay. that the little hoop that's on his uh, waist yeah. is for the gun. Really? I mean, it would have been cool if there was like a holster, but it's just a loop. Yeah. I haven't figured it out. I didn't really get into it yet. I'm going to watch the movie and see how they have it. So the Death Trooper is very tall, amazingly detailed, amazingly painted, stiff joints. I mean, we're, we're talking some good stuff here. Now, there is two types of the Death Trooper. There's the Specialist. This is not the Specialist. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, the Specialist has all kinds of pouches on his chest. Oh, okay, like the Heavy Gunner. Now, I'm starting to wonder if the Elite Series... I haven't, you know, I haven't really looked into this, but I wonder if the Elite Series is going to be putting out the Specialist. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm going to talk to the Bendu from now on. The Bendu. I'm the Bendu. We are the ones in the middle. We, we are, Chris. We're the ones in the middle. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. And neither do you. Just, All right. just drink limoncello and then wash it down with a coarse light and it's going to change a lot of things. It changes everything. All right. We talked about it before. I mean, the, the, the shoulder pauldrons are unbelievable. They're like, they move. I mean... The Death Trooper is awesome. I can't wait to see him in action. End of story. Let's move on. Oh, it's a Ray and BB-8 repack. Yeah, don't she even open it. She comes with her staff and a laser sword. I want to check the paint on the lightsaber. 
Because this paint looks pretty good. They have the red button on the uh, on the lightsaber. I like how you called it a laser sword. A laser sword. It's so wizard. Hey, did you hear uh, yep. Zeb say yeah. wizard? Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, kind of wasn't, but also was cool, too. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. It was pretty wizard. So I want, I want to check the paint job, because the paint job does look pretty nice on this. Um, but it's it's Black Series Ray. I have it already. Um, they gonna, just added a lightsaber. I'm going to toss this one to the side for now. All right. Sergeant Jin Urso Jedi. This was the one that was pre-order. Remember, remember a couple of weeks ago? <laughs> Pre-orders for everything. Remember that? <laughs> Guaranteed to arrive before Force Friday. No. Nope. Happened in October. I'm. I, I even forget where I got my pre-order, but I'm canceling it. Oh, you actually got, I a got one. Yeah. But why would I have it when I have one right here? Yeah, I didn't bother. Like, I don't want. If I'm gonna like, why would I buy Jin Urso in October when I can get on for on a. Uh, Rogue Friday, or Force Friday, whatever you want to call it. Now, the people that got the exclusive San Diego Comic-Con, this is the same exact figure, different package. Exactly. So, I like to keep my San Diego Comic-Con exclusives in the package. Absolutely. The it's a beautiful display. Yeah, it really is. They typically go up in price. They're the collector's items. They hold so, their value, especially Kenobi. Yeah, Kenobi's really holding his value. I wish my package didn't get destroyed, man. Sorry, man. So, this is a great figure, too. She has, like, her little uh, hooded cape on, her vest. I mean, great gun, great great detail on it. They really stepped up. They, they really stepped it up this, this year. They kicked it up a notch. Yeah, I think they're feeling the pressure from the SH figure arts a little bit. Yeah, which because... Which is just out of this world. Yeah, because they're starting to, like, really pump, on, pump them out now. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, man, like, I'm really liking what the SH figure arts is doing. Yeah. It's hard to say no to those figures. That's all I'm saying. Hard to say no. Elite series can be hit or miss. But, uh... That is H figure art. looks amazing. Yeah. It's a matter of getting them and importing them. It can be difficult. Oh, yeah. It takes a while. Yeah, and finding, like, the right distributor and all, so... Yeah, and you're gonna be paying double. Yeah, pretty much. But I'll tell you, it's worth it. The figures are incredible. I'm definitely gonna get a yeah. couple. Yeah, it's one of those, like, like I still look at the Phasma I have, and I'm like, wow. Like, that's an impressive figure. It is a wow factor. Yeah, it is. All right. Sergeant Jin Arso, amazing. Great. So now we have two Jin Arso 6-inch right now. Solid wave. All right, next up, Kylo Ren Unmasked. This is the one from San Diego Comic-Con. You can, if you open them up, this is no nothing new. Celebration Europe. Celebration Europe, my bad. But you, see, you you have the beautiful Celebration Europe because that yeah, exclusive great comes packaging. with the melted Vader helmet. Yeah, it does. And the First Order, um, you know, flag. Yeah. This one, you do not get the melted Vader helmet. You do no, not you, get you, that. You're just getting the figure, the lightsaber, and like the, the, the un... You know, the, just the hilt, which is nicely painted. Oh, true. And you don't get the removable... Well, it's not really a removable helmet. It's a, like a head swap. Like, you have the helmet and the head. They should have given you the head swap on this. Not for nothing, they should have. Yeah. All you get is the unmasked version. I mean, this is a great version of the figure. Looks like Adam Driver. Um. Yeah, I mean, this is a it's a great paint job on the uh, lightsabers. What do you think about this, like, this unpainted look? They're doing with the uh, the skin. It has like a translucent quality, like the plastic, so it like looks like real skin. Yeah, I was going to say. Paint. Looks, yeah, I don't hate it. You know, I think it looks pretty good. I don't hate it. I think for the price, it's good. There are people. So a little cottage industry I've noticed has sparked up on uh, on eBay. People are repainting heads of figures. Oh my God, it, it's pretty incredible. The 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 ju you, you're just buying the repainted head. Of a lot of these figures and they're doing like a custom paint job and they're unreal yeah they have like crazy skills with the airbrush gun and uh it when i tell you it looks exactly like the actor or actress yeah i mean they nail it chris i haven't done it yet but i might just try it out i might i might buy one yeah i, I don't know 
Like these repaints are unbelievable. I wish they, I, I wish I had the talent and the time to do it myself. Are they expensive? Um, they might be like a little bit more than the actual total figure, but I mean, it's someone's craftsmanship. Yeah, you're well, paying for. The one that I saw of Kylo Ren, I yeah. would gladly pay twenty dollars for it. So, exactly, it, it's that good. Yeah. So you pop that on your on your black series, you're gonna have like a great custom figure. Yeah, you're getting hot toys quality on a Hasbro figure. So I have to say, this is an upgraded Kylo Ren compared to the one that came out at the beginning of the Force Awakens. Um, the lightsaber paint job is better. There's a little bit better detail on like the under, um, like his like like the not the skirt, but like the under like the under clothes cloth. I guess I don't know. What you, I'm know you know what I have to look into. Does the Celebration Europe have that soft goods hood? I think it does. Because I don't remember now. I don't know. I don't remember either. But it's it's a pretty cool figure. I'm really enjoying it. Um. Yeah, I'm I'm liking this figure. Look at that. Look at him standing with the, with the. That's cool. I mean, really stiff joints. Great, great figure. You should definitely pose him like hidden his side where he got shot. Oh, I like that. I have that on the uh, super articulated one. Yeah, looks cool. I, I kind of want him like, yeah, it's pretty cool. Traitor! Yeah. Yeah. I got to watch that movie again. He's super damaged. Huh. Last figure. Captain Cassian Andor, Iadu. He doesn't have a mask. No. Why does Jin have a mask and he doesn't? Good question. I have no idea. And this one comes with the ever important hat that you put on K2SO. Yeah. You know, not for nothing, maybe it's, that mask is just for like sandstorms or something. Yeah. Because everybody can't maybe. be walking around with a mask. For poodoo and giggles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't even know what we're calling this episode. Poodles and giggles? Poodoo and giggles. Oh. No, we're not calling it that. All right. There's a lot of recycling that has to happen. Yeah, it's going to happen. I got to say, I like the figure. It doesn't really look like Diego Luna to me. It's close, though. The closest they close. got so far. Um, great detail, again, on the guns. Uh, one gun. The second gun is just like a gray, gray un unpainted version. I don't know. I don't know. So that's that. Ca I mean, we went through Cassie and Andrew last week. So what are we missing here, Chris? What's your, what's your Force Friday haul going to look like? After uh, three, well, and th you know, we got the three and three quarter. Well, we don't have them all. We don't have them all. And I'm going to try my hardest to hook you up. Yeah. We need those two packs. We need the two packs. And I need the six inch uh, hover tank trooper that you have. Now, this is a Toys R Us exclusive mm -hmm. hover tank pilot. That's true. I'm foreseeing this figure to be very hard to find. Yeah, it's right gonna be now. if you can if you find it, pick it up. Yeah, yeah. If you well, I was gonna say grab two, but if you see somebody else that really wants it, yeah, do them a solid. You oh know, yeah, I mean, take care of your, your your take care of your brother. This is a community. Yeah. We're all in this together. Exactly. Unless he's selling it on eBay, then just rip it right from his hands. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, it's a fantastic figure. Um, that armor is great. The helmet rocks. Yeah. Um, this is a very nice exclusive because it's the Toys R Us exclusive for the first order snow trooper like that eventually came out at a wave. It's just the pauldron was painted white instead of orange. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't see this figure coming out in another form. I, I, I don't see that happening. No, no. So this is a really good exclusive. Um, I like those white pauldrons from, from The Force Awakens. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, we need that on, on all the uh, different Stormtroopers. Not for nothing, but when the figure arts released what they were going to be selling, yeah. and the hover tank pilot was in there, that's when I was like, well, Black Series isn't making them, so I have to buy them from figure arts. I like what? the hover tank one, though. Boom. Boo schnickens. So Hasbro decided to make one. Hey, I, I really like the one that the SH Figure Arts is doing with the hover tank, though. Yeah. Because it has, like, the black, like, shoulders. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Hover Tank, the Scarif, and K2SO figure arts are killer. Yeah. So those yeah. are the three that I'm probably going to be going after. For uh, for figure arts. For figure arts, yeah. Yeah, big time. Um, Obviously, you know, we, we're going to get the Scarif Trooper with Wave 2 of the Black Series. Yeah. And it looks great. 
Definitely. So, uh, yeah, it, it's so funny. It always brings me back to that conversation we're having when we're kayaking. Like, <laughs> like it's like, well, what we, are we going to get? Yeah, how we, I, we how many buy everything. Yeah, we can't buy everything. And, and the long, the, the short story is we might end up getting it all. <laughs> we might end up doing it. Yeah. Yeah, in a long enough timeline. Yeah. But yeah, the, so the two packs, if you guys aren't aware, I'm sure you are. But the two yeah. packs that we're totally going after is Pow and the Death Trooper. Yeah, pay up. Pow, pay up. Yeah. Well, it was confirmed in the Go Rogue. Okay. That it's Pow. I thought it was Oh, Pao. really? Yeah. So All right. So, yeah, we got to hit. We have Moroth and Scarif, Stormtrooper Squad Leader. Yeah. Rebel Commando Pow and Imperial Death Trooper. Mm hmm. This is three and three quarter. Poe Dameron, First Order Snow, Snow Trooper Officer. I'm skipping that. Okay. That, now, that's wave one. After that is Baze Malibus and Stormtrooper. We don't know when that's coming. And uh, Darth Maul is the Old Master and the Seventh Sister Inquisitor. Yup. We don't know when that's coming either. Um, also, three and three quarter, wave two is uh, Rey Jakku, Princess Leia, Darth Vader, Krennic, Director Krennic, uh, Iadu Cassian Andor, Cheridan Way, Jyn Erso Jetta, and Grand Admiral Thrawn. Mm -hmm. But we don't know when that stuff is coming. Could, I, be, could be Rogue Friday, could maybe not. Who knows? I, for some weird reason, I, I'm thinking October, November. Latest. Really? Yeah. Who knows? I mean, Wave 2 was out on 4th Friday last year. And exactly. it wasn't supposed to be. I remember that tweet. I found it. You Yeah, you sent me I a picture. I found it before anyone. And it was Elo Asti and the Snow Trooper. And you were like, who's this guy? I found Elo Asti and I found, um, oh, who's the, the weird bug face guy? Oh, Sarko. Sa Sarko Plank. Sarko Plank, I'm yeah. Like, who are these guys? I got them. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. Yeah, Sacco Plank in Eloasi, and I was like, Where Whoa! are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was at Coles. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Also, the vehicles here. Um, I don't really want to get the vehicles. I just want the I just want the Lucy's. You know, the TIE striker. Well, I might get the TIE striker. I don't know. Rebel U Wing with Captain Cassian Andor. Uh the A the AT A C T, that's a three hundred dollar one. I don't yeah, know. I'm not getting it. No. Uh if I can find the uh, the Lucy's, I'll get them. Kanan with a Y Wing scope bomber. Ezra Bridger with speeder bike. I mean it's old school Ezra, it's not not the new one, right? right? Uh Imperial speeder bike with pilot, assault walk with driver, Harrison Duel's A Wing with Harrison Duel, that's a new sculpt in Hera. Now I would like to get that figure mm. loose. It all depends how much I can get it for. Yeah, and Dengar it, Dan found it. He found it today. What? What the the whole thing? Yeah. Did he buy it? Yeah, he bought it. Oh, Dengar, Dengar Dan. Congratulations! Yeah. Hey, check him out on the sand crawler with Mike Tarkin. Oh, it's really enjoyable. Yeah. collecting podcast. A great new collecting podcast. It's awesome. Great guys too, man. Yeah, they, they are they're great guys. Definitely. So, okay, what do we have here? What else is left? I mean, okay, the Walmart. The Walmart three and three quarter super articulated figures they're doing. Kind of weird, but they do them. Ahsoka Tano, Emperor's Royal Guard, Lando Calrissian, and Admiral Akbar. All four look great. I need them. Yeah. I need them. And I believe that for for the Funko Pop people out there, yeah. I, I think that Saw Gerrera... Funko Pop Walmart exclusive will be available on Force Friday. Um, I, I don't know. I'm not going to be going to Walmart, uh, but I am going to be Wait, picking what, that what up. What is this? Saw Gerrera? Saw Gerrera Funko Pop. Oh. Mm -hmm. it, 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 the thing is that it's the only thing of him right now, yeah. so I'm probably going to get it if I can get my hands on it. Yeah, he's like totally not, not being made in figures right now. Yeah, but you know, Disney Elite Series did announce three secret figures mm. that's going to be happening, so... Uh -huh. I don't know. Better be Luke Skywalker Force Awakens. No, I don't think so. Chris, that was a show, man. That was a show. We're over two hours, kid. No, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was a big, big Rogue Friday. Need him, got him. Yeah, we we basically just did. We we just went rogue. Yeah. So we hope you guys uh, know exactly what you want to get for Rogue Friday, and uh, you know, thanks for hanging out with us on Bruising Blasters. To find us as part of the Retro Zap Podcast Network. 
Go to RetroZap.com and subscribe. Get everything in one catch-all feed. I mean, we got them all there. That's it. We're adding new shows all the time. You know, just mention the Sandcrawler, right? Yeah. yeah. New show. Boom. Boom. We got it. And we got the Yardcast, Blob of the Hype, Deucecast, Skywalker the Neverland, Talking Apes TV, Classic Marvel Comics, Techno Retro Dads Trade Federation, We Know Nothing, Movie Commentaries, Starship Stables and Scoundrels, Dunecast, Animanicast, and of course, Sandcrawler. And uh, we got more things up our sleeve. Whiskey and whales? Who knows? That's happening. Mm, who knows? Even more. Don't forget about all our columns and editorials. The Audit Set, Bond Night Comics Commentary, The Family Homestead, Funko Pop, Star Wars Guide, Photographic Plastic, Power of the Prequels, Special Modifications, and of course, as we said, all of those editorials written by some of the best writers out there. I mean, we're featured in Newsweek uh, last week. That is true. Featured in Newsweek. Just saying. All right. Don't forget to check out Chris at the Collector Site. Collector Site is the place to find out everything in depth. We, I mean, we, we just gloss over these figures. Yeah. In depth guides. Every figure out there. He has an amazing collection. Go to bruiseandblasters.ninja for everything you need to know about Bruise and Blasters. Subscribe on iTunes. Email bruiseandblasters at retrozap.com. Leave us an iTunes review if you had a good time. If you leave an iTunes review, good things will happen. You'll probably win an Oppo Award, and you know what? Good things will happen. Make it good. Leave an iTunes review. We want to hear it. Twitter. Bruise and Blaster leave out the yes. Retrozap at a PED. Collector side two Ts. Joey Wong Kenobi. Chris Salton. And you know, that's it. I'm afraid the party's canceled, but my summer's never show. But I don't want to spend so so I must fall for the note. Before it's getting ready, man, we get too much. But I don't want to suffer, the boogie's wicked clutch. Hey, Crystal Lime, what do you think of the show? Hey, man, it was totally awesome. Get out of here, Crystal Lime. Oh, Chris, any last words? Uh, go rogue. A Star Wars dot board. A Star Wars dot board. <laughs>